for them at this point. Um, you and I have talked at nausea and we talked for over two hours about side chicks and yeah. about, you know, the pros, the cons, what they are, uh, why would you want to be one? And we even shared stories about, you know, circumstances where either we were one or we've had one. Um, I want to know from the listeners, I want to know from the stereo community, are there benefits? Number one, are there benefits to being a side piece? Have you been a side piece? Mm-hmm. And to and you know, I want you to answer Shan's question of why? Why would you want to be a side piece? Because a lot of people they always say, you know what? I didn't know that I was a side piece. I just, you know, I assumed him and his girlfriend, like the young lady, I think Venus had mentioned that, you know, she was in a, no, it was, I think it was Venus. Venus said that she was in a situation where she didn't find out until it was too late. And she'd already, no, it was, it was Tierra. Tierra said that. Oh, it was Tierra. So Tierra yeah. said that she was in a situation and she didn't know. So what about those people who, they don't mind it. They're in situations where it's like, it's not, I don't feel I, like it's not. And like you don't mind it you would like to have known up front but now by the time you find out your feelings are involved and depending on how naive you are depending on your maturity will that ever change the thing and what happened with me was my feelings were already in it and did I grieve like the fact that this is the reality of the relationship I invested my time in yeah but then I had to learn like how can I benefit from this situation? And that's what I learned over the years, which then fucked him up because he caught on to the fact that I saw how to use the situation to my best benefit. And it just worked. It just worked. It shouldn't have worked, but that's it prevented me from being in 10 different relationships with different people by just being in that one because it was just so much drama. It was so much um, discussions being had, so many different challenges. And I learned a lot about myself. So if that was what helped me be 33 with seven people I fucked in life under my belt, then so be, be it. But I maybe I spent my time dealing with somebody who had no future pros, but at the same time, it prevented me from possibly dealing with worse people than he was. Exactly. So I got a question for you, Shan, and obviously the listeners, they can ask the question before, but do you think you were better for them than the person that they were with or that they are with? Um, no. And this is why I say, I feel like they deserve each other. I feel like they're both in it because they're in fear of what would happen if it changed. She's in fear of starting over at like, what, 38? She's 38 now. She's in fear of starting over and making her time look wasted because that relationship is dead. And he's in fear of his child not being in the same house with him and having access to controlling the situation like he does. Um, And that's what keeps them together. And I don't know what their relationship is going to be when both like their kids are grown because now, you know, Ari's there. She's three. So it's kind of like you have to start over. It's not your child, but he kind of he kind of has to start over. And if you're going to stay, you're going to have to do with him. And um, I just don't feel like he was ever mentally ready to be a better person in the first place. Because he was dodging being honest with himself. When a man is dodging being honest with himself and dealing with his own shit, there's no woman that will fix that. There's nothing that a a woman can do great that will fix that or make them be better for that woman. Because he will always have holes within himself. And I told him that before everything went up Shit's Creek with us is like, there's levels of you that can be better. And I'm not just talking for me. I'm talking just in life that you will never reach until you deal with the fact that you're running away from something honest within yourself and you got to fix that shit. And until he fixed that shit, there's nothing that she will ever be able to do to be like, Hey, I'm waiting. I want to be married. I'm it. So, um, 
all that insecurity and shit until somebody is ready to fix themselves and be better in life. There's nothing that anybody can give them that's going to make them feel ready. So. Profile. Oh, we have a voicemail. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. <sighs> that's a good question. Man, side pieces, side pieces, side pieces. Look, man. I think this tends to land in the moral discussion. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a morality thing. Should you have side pieces? Should you not have side pieces? Now, I, I think there might be two things to this. Let me say this. There's a single side piece. You got joints on joints when you don't got nobody. And there's a side piece when you're in a relationship. Obviously, one's wrong and one really doesn't. Look, I'm of the belief when you're single, you do whatever the fuck you want. You catch however many bodies you want, male, female. I don't give a fuck. But when you're in a relationship, it is not okay to have a side piece um but the benefits of a side piece are that you know what i mean like you're gonna get what you need when you need it you know what i mean yeah. have it your way it's mcdonald's baby that those are the benefits baby let me get a value meal no cheese there is no pros to having a side piece and this what? topic is ignorant there's no pros and that's what's wrong with this world if someone's in a relationship, you need to go get your own or be single, period. I, agree. I don't care how anybody feels about this. It's disgusting. Mm-hmm. There's nothing good or funny about being a side piece and having that arrangement. Just be in a relationship or be single and have fun and live your life. You don't have to be engaged in someone else's personal relationship and think that it's cute. Spend your own money. Go out to eat with your mom. Spend time with your family. Read the Bible. Read a book. The Bible. Why are you concerned about being a side piece? That is the ignorance that's going on in today's world in this generation. Please spread something more useful. Thank you and have a good night. Also, follow me on Instagram. I got great music on Apple uh, and Spotify. It's that banging stuff. It's not talking about no side pieces. Oh, man. I love how she put that in there. Well, I was aware of uh, his woman or girlfriend or main chick or wife or whatever she was to him. I was aware of her. The thing is, he, from the jump, told me that their relationship was shit and he didn't love her no more. He had planned to leave her. But, you know, like I said, that was just his way because I think he felt like I was going to leave him if I thought that he wasn't going to leave her. So to keep me, you know, for a long time, he was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. And then once I realized that he wasn't going to leave her, um, like I said, I left him alone. Facts. Yeah, and that's I where I say um, it is having a side piece, a selfish thing. And it is. Yeah. Yeah, I have to address something. So she basically, uh, not uh, Tierra, shout out to her, but the, the one lady, before the lady before her. Yeah. yeah. So she was saying that there are no pros to being a side chick. It's completely ignorant and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, for her. I didn't want, yeah, for, for her. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that, that's her, that's her personal thing. Here's yeah. the issue though. Um, there are a lot of people that take the term side chick. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, side dude, and they feel like the reason why they are the side is because that person is talking or dating someone. But there are a lot of single women talking mm-hmm. to single men that mm-hmm. are side chicks, that are side pieces, and it works both ways. You have no they main be, plan for anybody. Yeah, you, ha- you have no plans for someone, but you yeah. definitely have your options. There's an option A, there's an option B, there's an option C. Yeah. Um, so to basically call people ignorant and say like, oh, well, you're ignorant if you do this. A lot of people, they're not ignorant. They just know that that person in their heart of hearts, that's the person that they want to be with because that's what they that's what they know in their heart. Um, it might not be true. It might be something that they have to learn, but it's something that they feel. So to say that like they're ignorant because of how they feel, like I don't want to say like that's what she said, you know, per se, but it's just how it feels. Imagine being someone who is a side chick or who has, who has been a side chick tell somebody, hey, you know, it's completely ignorant that you, you would even result to ever being a side chick. 
a lot of people don't know that they you know that they are in that position. They know that they care about that person. They know that they're talking to other people. But the thing is, like, they could be presenting themselves to be one thing and they're not. They can say, you know what? And, hey, that, that, and who's to say you want more than what you want? Who's to say you have to want more than what you want? I feel like it's completely um, a individual decision and choice to want what you want. You just got to be honest with the person that you're wanting it from. This is what I want. Yeah, I just I feel really bad at like cause I'm, I'm not trying to go at her. This is not shots, but you know, and we I'm going to listen to her music now. I'm going to say this. I'm going to listen to your music, and the, the first sign of side chick music or the no 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 bullshit because see that, stuff like that it, it really it rubs me the wrong way because people yeah. who were like hey go go listen to my music and then you listen to the music and the same shit that they're like you know basically mm-hmm. telling people is wrong they do that shit. Like it, it, it really, really rubs me the wrong way. But to basically like talk about side chicks and side pieces and stuff like that, there are pros to it. There are cons to it. That's why we're sitting here having this conversation. We've been talking. There's for this pros. About whoever it. think it's a pro for them, she doesn't yeah. feel like it's a pro for her because that's not what she would do. Which is fine. Everybody's um, yeah deserves yeah, of to- their own opinion. Yeah, but to say that people are ignorant for being, and that's how she put it. She said they are completely ignorant for it, and you know, they. I, I think she, at one point she even brought religion into it. And it's like, okay, like at, at some point we have we have to stop doing things because that's how we feel about them. That's why we opened up the you know the floor for people to leave voicemails to you know tell their stories and to say how they feel about things because we don't have the answers. We would love to hear your answers to your own questions to your own life without putting too much out there but to basically tell somebody that could be listening to you right now that could be a side chick she knows for a fact she loves that guy and he knows for a fact he loves her back and he's told her this but she knows for a fact her position right now is the side chick she's either playing the waiting game or she's like you know what like the uh tiara said you know what he told me something he, he told me he was waiting you know that this was about to end and stuff like that there are a lot of people who hold out hope knowing that the person that could be for them is right there they're just waiting for them to get out of the position that they're in and And sometimes there's people in relationships without anybody on the side that are holding out hope that this person wants something more yeah I, i just i just felt really like i don't say i felt weirded out about it but it just really hurt me to know that like a a woman said that and this isn't a man versus woman thing but to hear a woman basically tell you know for me personally tell women because i feel like there's a a hierarchy when it comes to like the whole male versus woman side piece side cheek you know side chick thing because i've never heard a woman say oh that's my side dude it's like no that's just a a, a nigga i'm fucking with or a dude i'm fucking with or something like that because he he knows his role but the fact that she was like, oh, she brought religion. I was like, yo, like, damn. That was Listen, that's epic. why what you said earlier, um, uh, that's why what you said earlier about women having, like, work husbands and stuff. In reality, if a woman is dating somebody and they're in some type of committed courting yeah. and they have titles and she still goes on lunch dates or breakfast dates or allows somebody to talk to her or buy her whatever, those are her sides. It just depends but, uh, on how you title it. Yeah, trust me. Th- there, there are men that are probably listening to this, like this broadcast on stereo now, and they know for a fact that they have been friend zoned. They know for a fact that they are <laughs> play brother. No, no, no bullshit. They know that they're a play brother. They know that they're the dude oh, that man. you know. Some, some, some girl, has, you know, some woman has said, you know what? Like, I would date you if. I wasn't so close to you or if we, you know, we didn't know each other this long, blah, 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 blah. Like that to me is considered a side because you are an option. A side is an option. Like you have the main course, but you have the option of having a side when you go to Nando's and all these other fucking places where they serve you food and dinner and stuff like that. the, The side is an option. Either you can have it or you can say, you know what? I don't want it. There are a lot more people out here right now that have the option to do the things that they do for her to say it's completely ignorant to do i was like damn like you know but you know what again she she brought up the bible which is fine if that's like your rule of thumb for life i don't have any issue with it um but according to the bible if you're not married in that union you're fornicating 
So if yeah. if if that's something that's guilty, then that's something that's guilty that everybody has done damn near unless you're like 40 and you're still a virgin waiting to be married, which some people are. I just feel like that depends on you. That's like a personal yeah. thing. Yeah. I just I just I you know, for me to and I wasn't like raised in like, you know, a very like, you know, a very spiritual like household, you know, we, <laughs> we did the whole Christian thing. Cool. But we, we can't just go and just like try to hide behind the guise of like, you know, religion when it comes to things that honestly are so surface level that they don't even need that shit. Like, do, do you like somebody? Do they like you? Cool. But do they have someone? Yes. Like, don't try to throw religion into it in order to like just say, you know what? Well, if you guys had God in your life, if you if you were religious and you did. This, Listen, like, the no. preachers has God in their life. Pre- uh, Pastor Wilson had God in his life when he was eating that girl's um, stuff like hamburger and sloppy joe. Um, the deacons have God in their life and they still do whatever. It depends on you and what you got going on. Yo, what, wasn't there just, a, we, we just read the article, like the mega church pastor who he cheated on his wife and then apologized to her after buying her a Lamborghini. Like, oh yeah, that was religion, right? Pastor John Gray, right? Like he said, <laughs> he 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 honored his wife after cheating. So I I, I just hate the fact it, it's so crazy because whenever somebody brings religion into like cheating or when it uh, they say you know what nobody is excused. Need to honor. From- Yo, st- I, I just hate that. Like I, I get that you're bringing religion into it, but the thing is, the most religious people I've ever met do the most like they holistic work. shit. Yo, they they do shit. I'm like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, the, the, Pastor Gray, not only did he cheat on his wife twice, he flew a chick out, and his wife was paying the cell phone bills. He said that he he said that he didn't cheat. He said that he did not cheat physically. He cheated emotionally. So, excuse the fuck out of me when I say this, but y'all can keep religion out of this shit. Um, the reason yeah. why is because like like we're literally talking relationships side chick stuff like that there are some side chicks that are respected there are some that are not but to bring religion into it i, I literally i was listening to that voicemail and i was like she about to bring religion into it she about to bring god into it. <laughs> honestly she was like two seconds away from bringing in like aliens and the fact that it's a conspiracy theory that like you know people should ever like have intercourse like this is supposed to be total recall or some shit like no it's not but i mean shout out to her I'm, i don't want to be shady it's i respect felt really bad everybody's opinion because you deserve to have one but why, why was this having a side piece is definitely a selfish thing and at the end of the day feelings always get involved feelings get hurt so it's really not worth the headache when it comes to side pieces personally that's what i think facts And then there is control of delete. <laughs> what? Appreciate that good work, hey Greg. One thousand. That's you. facts. <laughs> are we like talking about the topic, or I'm confused? What we're what are we talking about? <laughs> also, I have a question. If guys do like, if you're talking to some guy. Okay, and you're not like boyfriend, girlfriend yet. You're just like talking to them. And they happen to like tell you there's like another girl. Do you think there's another girl or do they they're just saying that to like look cool or something? You would I, I would feel like you wouldn't want to tell the person that there's somebody else. It looks a little suspect to me. I want to mind it. It wouldn't matter because they're not nothing. We're just talking. Yeah. Like you should be able to talk to who you want to talk to while talking to whoever you're talking to and nobody should be offended because you're laying it on the table. You're not lying. Now if a person is saying that to see if you would give a reaction of jealousy or being bothered, then that's something different. But if somebody asks me, Hey, I like you. I like talking to you and we've been talking for like the past three weeks and they in the same time might say, are you currently fucking anybody? And I say, no, does that change the fact that we're just talking? No. Is that now going to make us more 
No. It's just like, I'm not hiding anything that I'm doing. Is there anybody that you spend this much time on the phone with talking? If I say, yes, there is another person or two other people. Can you be offended if you want to? Would I feel bad that you were offended? No, because I'm telling the truth. I don't think people want honesty. Sometimes I really feel like people want to go back to like, two decades ago where people were still hiding the fact that yes, I am a married man married to a woman with four kids. And yes, I do like fucking other men, but I don't want anyone to know that I'm a really a gay man. And I like to keep it under wraps or you want to go back to being a married woman in a relationship with kids. And this is not just your friend that you go to church with and get your hair done with. You actually like fucking her and keep that a secret. I feel like people would respect more secrets than they would respect people being honest and out in the open about who they are and what they want in life. And to me, I don't feel like that's a great way to live. I feel like people need to respect this is who I am. I'm not changing it. I have no plans to change it. Do you accept or do you not want to be here? And people should have the choice to make if I want to stick here and and deal with your shit or I don't. Yeah. It it just it really scares me because everybody wants monogamy but they also want the option to look. Um I've heard people be like, oh, well, you know, I can't trust a, a guy because he's he's looking at these Instagram models or he, he's doing this. And I'm, I'm, mind you, I'm only talking I'm, I'm, I'm only talking about men. So any woman who's going to leave a voicemail saying, well, he keeps harping, you know, he keeps harping on the women and what they would do. I'm a man. I like women. So I'm going to talk <laughs> about the male perspective of it. So I'm not yeah. going to sit there and put myself in your shoes. I'm not doing it. Not on my show, <laughs> not on any show. Um, however. These same people who say, you know what, they, they want monogamy. They want, they want men to be better because men ain't shit. They're dogs and they cheat on women, blah, 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 blah. Mm. They will say, they will be the same people who say, you know what, well, Michael B. Jordan, you know, he, 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 he was the sexiest man alive this year. And you know what? I, I'd leave my man for him. I, I would do it. You know, if, if I had a chance, if I had a hall pass, i will do it. I'm like, okay, if, if it has to be, it can't be. Like you can do what you want. You can have these options. You can say what you want to say and you can look how you want to look. But if a male did the same thing, it's, you know, it's completely different. And I I don't want to like, kind of like veer off of the side piece of the situation. So I'm gonna try to tie it all in. So say, for example, you go out of town and you see Michael B. Jordan at the bar. He's not your side piece. He's just somebody that you decided, you know what? He wanted to hook up with me that one night. You hooked up Um, with him that one night. There are a lot of people who want that. A lot of people who want that. They would let it happen. Are you going to go to your spouse? Are you going to text them and say, you know what? I slept with Michael B. Jordan and it was a one time <laughs> thing. I'm sorry. You know, I, I just wanted to let you know, like, I, I just wanted to be completely transparent. The answer is absolutely fucking not. You got Michael B. Jordan's dick. It's hanging as a trophy in your mental role. Something. Yeah. But some things you are not going to sit out here and just tell the fucking world. There are some women who do that shit. Some women are, you know, but they're usually single. Men, the same thing. Like right now, if Rihanna told me, you know what? Like, I understand, Greg, you are married, but these draws are yours and I won't say anything. Do you feel like your wife would understand? Man, not only will she understand, she ain't got a choice. (laughs) She she doesn't have a choice. Somebody who, somebody who is going to be, I'm going to tell you this now, somebody's going to listen to me and be like, oh, Greg's a dirtbag. He's going to, yes, if Rihanna, Oprah, Beyonce, fucking Oprah. Um, Michelle Obama, Oprah. like I like, did it for us. I, I did. Not only did I do it for us, I did it for me. Honestly, it, it was my mental sanity. Like a lot of people use Headspace, they go to therapy. I like sex. Sex is my therapy. And yes, I do it with my wife. But if fucking Rihanna said, you know what? Hey, these draws are yours. You know what? I, I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be fintied out. I'm gonna have the fenty boxes with the dick hole in them, and she gonna catch it. She's going to catch it. So it, it just, it really, it's really weird to just know that like people will be like, oh, well, you know, stop, stop lying. And, you know, God wouldn't want you to do this. God literally put, well, according to the Bible, mind you, because I'm not a religious person. They, they put a man and a woman out here, boom, boom, boom. They did whatever they did. She ate the apple. Cool. Yeah. Fast forward to fucking 2020. We're still doing that. But you, you like what you like. You love what you love. Um, 
when it comes to side pieces, you just need to know when to treat them the way that they are. Like none of the guys that I heard of that slept with like Superhead mm-hmm. never treated her the way that they treated their wives. They weren't like, oh, I'm going to go and get her a fucking trip to Bora Bora. Like somebody should have talked to Eddie Winslow. Oh, well, see, think about it. That's Eddie oh. Winslow. I'm talking about Shaq and El Hoos. All them, like, you know, I'm, I'm not condoning cheating on your spouse. All I'm saying is if you do decide to go and do dirt, um, do it with somebody who is not going to hold it over your head as a result of being simply your side chick. That, that's my only gripe because I Did absolutely hate with that girl from the reality show, that short girl. Oh, um, hoops. And then he cheated on her, which. which what? <laughs> Which proves my point. Men, we, we don't cheat because we just all of a sudden like, hey, we, we, we like, her. oh my God, she has a beautiful smile. The pussy is different. Period. I, yeah, I just feel like men get bored and that's just what they do by nature. I'm not and, saying it's right. Look at, look at, look at Jay-Z, my G. No, here's the thing. Men don't, I, I, gotta, I gotta like to spell this. Men don't get bored with the women that they're with. They enjoy new things. Like right now, I have the iPhone 12. My fucking iPhone 11 from last year was perfect. Mm. They told me they told me there was a slight camera bump, and you know the, the pictures that I already wasn't taking last year when they told me that the camera was better. When the iPhone 12 came out, they said, "Oh, it's a new design, but it's the iPhone 12." I said, "You know what? I, I'm going to get the fucking iPhone 12." Did I need it? Absolutely not. Could I afford it? I could. But it, I, I could have paid off my phone in a year, um, and I tr- I don't want to like equate like my phone to like a marriage or like sex or anything like that. But men, j- just talking about men, um, when we see sex, we see sex. Period. Like there are some men who try to throw the emotion thing into it, but when a guy goes and approaches a woman, knowing that you know what, I, I liked her because I saw her on Instagram. She had a nice ass. She had a nice pair of titties. Um, she, she posts all these photos and, you know, you know, she seems like a nice person, but at the, the base for that man is, you know what? I'm trying to get them cheeks, period. Women, mm. I, I can't speak to you guys. I'm not going to speak for you guys. I'm just telling women what we guys see. We know for a fact we were attracted to her. That's what we wanted from her. And that's that. And that's how the side chick thing starts. It's like, okay, I, I knew for a fact I liked her. I wanted to fuck with her, but that was it. But then, obviously, the pussy's so good that you decided, you know what? I got to go and get it. I I, I got to go. You got to. Oh, Pokemon. Yeah, it, it's just, it's so crazy. I'm, I'm still really, I'm really, really mad still about that voicemail. About the, oh, well, you, you need God. You need Jesus. It's okay. What? Here's the thing. Whenever somebody tells me this, I'm like, yo, didn't Jesus have the playbook already? Like, he knew I was going to do this shit. Oh, so God. You're, tell- you're, you're telling me something. Like, he predicted the future. He, he told us this was going to happen. He told me it was going to happen because, hey, here I am. Think about it right now. A, a lot of your favorite fucking songs. And she's a singer. This was so fucked up. She's an R&B singer. I looked her up. <laughs> R- R&B singer. Do you know? Whatever album she puts out, shout out to her. It's not going to sell. The reason why is because all the good albums that I've heard recently have all like name your right now off the top of your head. Name three R and B albums. Uh, the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, mm-hmm. uh, L. Jones, um, mm-hmm. Where I Want to Be One, not anything recent. Uh, that John B. album where everybody thought he was a black man. Mm. Okay, so we're going to take those. I'm going to throw in a fourth. I'm going to throw in the Confessions album. Let's start about the Confession album. The entire fucking album was, hey, I had a side chick and I treated her differently, right? So I'm going to just leave that base level. It's just that. You said Donnell John. Actually, no, let's go to John B. John B. Uh Literally, all all his songs, like, don't listen to what people say they don't know about you and me. You and me. Come on. Are, are Are you serious now? Okay, uh, I can do this all day because I'm an R&B fan. Shout out to anybody in here right now. Use that applause emoji if you are an R&B fan and you understand where I'm about to go with these R&B references to the R&B singer who says, you Donnell know what? Donnell had a song on that album. I forgot the name, but Donnell, still, Donnell, he was mad it. that this girl that he was that he was assigned to was in a store where her man looking at engagement rings. Bro. Donnell Jones stood outside of that door in the rain in a leather jacket and a 
Oh, yo, he said to his own girl, I'm leaving you for the girl that I can't have. The pussy was that good. Oh my that God. good. He said, I said, I left baby girl a message saying I won't be home. I'd rather <laughs> be alone. She truly doesn't understand me that I'd rather leave than to cheat. If she give me some time, I could be the man she needs, but Wait. there's a lust. No, listen, I, 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 I got to read these lyrics, but there's a lot of lust inside of me. And we've been together since our teenage years. I really don't mean to hurt her, but I need some time to be uh-huh. alone. But when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how uh-huh. I feel so sad. And now that I want to leave, she's crying her heart to me. How could oh, you let this bad. be? I just need time to see. Where I want, he said it twice. He said, "Where I want to be, where I want to be." And then, in, any man that has a side chick knows this lyric. He said, "Sweet little do 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 do." I don't even know what the I don't, I don't even know what that means. But he said, "Sweet little do 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 do." Like, yo, honestly, fellas, please, please, I, I need you to give me the applause if you know what that you know what that lyric is. Sweet little do 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 like. Yo, any any dude, <laughs> this man said, in the middle of telling his girl that he don't want to be with her, he'd rather be with the side chick. He said, "Sweet little dee 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 dee." Like what? Yo, how do you keep a melody a breakup? Yo, the side pussy was that good. He said, "Sweet little dee 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 dee." I don't know. I can't do it. <sighs> I can't See, be with nobody that think it's okay yo. to dip out. Have, have you ever have you actually looked the name of his album was where i would be he made the entire album about the side chick and that's the thing people have to stop blaming themselves or looking for something they could have did better or they didn't do right people choose to be where they at and where they at is where they want to be yo Donnell Jones' entire, now I'm looking at the album, right? Donnell Jones' entire album was basically him telling his girl, I don't want you, but the pussy is so good over there. The first, I'm going to just go from song one to song 13. I'm going to just name the, I'm going to name the album songs, right? From one to 13. You know what's up. Shorty got her eyes on me. Where I want to be. This love, all for love. It's all right. Think about it. He won't hurt you. Pushing. I want to love you. When I was down, you know what's up? The remix. You 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 have to know how crazy a nigga is with some pussy where he put the remix to the song at the beginning and the end of the album. He said, just in case you didn't hear me the first time. <laughs> just just in case you didn't hear me the first time. I gotta tell you again. I gotta let you know. Yo. Mm-mm-mm. And then they oh my gosh, she 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 really said that like we need God because Saj. Who's who's raising? Who is who is raising the children? Who? Well, we don't know where that came from. Maybe she has been a victim of that. Well, here's the thing: that that's usually the case. Like, and I, I don't want to speak for her, and I hope she leaves another voice. I'm not speaking for her, but I'm no yeah, weird. But you know, for her to say, "Oh, well," and, you know, jump on my Spotify, and you know, I have songs. I'm I'm still looking for her songs because she didn't yeah, give us her. Fuck her. herself. I, I need, I didn't know her actual name, though, because I, I didn't hear that. So hopefully she leaves another voicemail. I was just really confused at the fact that she basically said that people who are side chicks are people who, you know, I don't want to say, like, step out. But, like, say if you're a single guy. You're a single guy. You're a single woman. Single woman. Let's just go with that because, God forbid, if I say guy, like, somebody's like, oh, my God, like, men ain't shit. This is why they ain't shit. Yes, men ain't shit. We've known this shit forever. Forever. Ever. However, if the dick is good, you ain't gonna care to begin with. So let's just go with the women perspective, right? So as a woman, if a guy says to you, you know what? I like you. I want to be with you, but I have a girl right now. I, I can't be with you, but I still want to be physical with you because I feel like there's something I can give you there. Like that that's an emotional thing. But then you do what the listener that left that voice note says. And add God into the aspect, right? And be like, you know what? Like, God doesn't want me to be with this woman. He wants me to be with you, but he wants me to just put my God in you. Then what? <laughs> then what? Because you know, I just I, I want guys to do that now. So now, since she brought religion in there, I want you, I want fellas and I want ladies alike. Like, imagine when when a dude is giving you dick so good and you say, "Oh Jesus, oh God, 
Like when, when you say that shit, when you say it, I just want you to know, like th- that listener who left that voicemail, she was doing it for you. Just think about her because apparently side chicks, they need Jesus. And, you know, the dick might be so good. You, you just you don't know. Uh, what did Alexis uh, K. Tyler say? She said, dick will make you slap somebody. She said that. She, she said, dick will make you slap somebody. So if dick will make you slap somebody, what else will it make you do? Because according to Tyler Perry, it'll make you throw hot grits. It'll make you go to a it'll make you go to a cookout and have a sing off. Like it, it'll make you do that. <laughs> First of all, if he really, really liked you, he wouldn't let you know about the other girl. Mm. So no, he's not trying to be cool. He's just testing the waters to see whether he can just play you. He's tr- that's it. That's all I can say. See, look at that. Talking the word. I personally don't feel like you should have a side piece. I mean, my wife, I mean, she has everything that I need. I mean, from top to bottom. I mean, don't get me wrong. As a human, as a man, is there certain things I look at? Yes. But that's only being human. That doesn't make you wrong or anything like that. But as a human being, it's certain things that's going to attract you know, that's going to be attractive to you as far as, you know, nature. But I have a 100% full-blown woman, and she mm-hmm. satisfies my every need. So do I feel like a side piece is necessary? No. But you can't settle for less when you can have the most. True. I remember Kanye saying that, and then he cheated on Amber Rose with um, uh, Kim, and she doesn't have a football team. Same birthday, sir. That wasn't the. Of course. Uh, all I'm going to say is shout out to that last listener because as he was talking, the only song that was going into my head, I'm, I got to read the lyrics. It was by a group by the name of Something for the People, and it's called My Love is a Shh. Boy, you never find another love as my- good as this. <laughs> so you better represent because my love is the shh. The bomb baby, the bomb, bomb baby. baby, bomb baby. <laughs> what? He, he said, he said, his wife, her love is the shit. Shout out to him, man. We need to clap it up for him. Clap, give him a round of applause to homeboy because he said, and he let y'all know. He was like, "Yo, my wife got it all." Y'all need to clap it up for him right now. I need to see these claps. Shout out to him. Shout out to him for not only loving his wife, being with his wife, and respecting his wife. Back. Respect to all. Back now. Yeah, because that, that that it takes a real man, and not only say he said he loved her from top to bottom, he gonna eat her from the rooter to the tutor when he get off this call. You hear me? He said, <laughs> he said from the rooter to the tutor. A good, thorough relationship. Mm. If you have like time for a side, there's something you're not doing correct. Oh, and that's that right there. I agree with. When you have time for a side, yes. But I mean, as somebody who's done that before, I will say this. You 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 really aren't making time. You, it's just literally like, well, I guess now, like, you know, married with a kid, I can't really make time. But when you're just with somebody, when you're dating somebody, yes, you have a lot of time for you and that person. But you don't have like a complete 24 hours of it's just you and I. That's mm-hmm. why people, I think people kind of like misconstrue the whole idea. If you were investing your time with her, you wouldn't have any time for anybody else. Exactly. I wish... I- but look at their relationship as investments and not just like throwing themselves to waste. Yeah. Yeah. But you have you have a lot of people who will go say shit like that, like, oh my God, like if you had so much time, then you you know, if you have all this time, you should invest in them. But if you do, then you don't have time for family. You don't have time for yourself. Like a lot of people yeah. like they give they give you these lofty expectations of what a relationship's supposed to be and how it's supposed to like like be overall, and that's never the case. I, I can't find one person, including myself, whose relationship is perfect to the point where it's like, oh, my God, I love her so much. Trust me, my wife and my wife and I, I know for a fact she told me today she hate me. And I was like, that's why I love you. The fact that you hate <laughs> no. me. The, the fact, think about it. Like, uh, um, imagine a relationship where you know for a fact that the shit was perfect 100% of the time. There are no happy marriages where it's just completely happy 
all the time. That's why when I see like Will and Jada before all this shit happened this year, I kept saying, I was like, you know what? It can't be them. Everybody kept holding them up to be like the monologue of like the, the perfect fucking relationship. So I swear yeah. to God, when I saw that Jada Smith got, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith, she got herself some other dick from August Alcina of all people. I was like, thank God, finally. Like, the, no, the reason why I said that, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it, I'm, I'm really not trying to be disrespectful about it, but just more so it's like, yo, like, y'all are holding up these expectations that people can't meet. So you have people, like, the people who are leaving these voice notes and the people who are on Twitter, they see a relationship as one thing, and it's like, it's not that. And it's always the people who have never been in these fucking relationships. They just have all these, like, I, I'm trying to think of, like, a way to put it. Remember when uh, the, the, the Twilight movies came out, and everybody's like, well, that would be I good as a that- romantic. Yeah, everybody's like, oh, that should be a romantic movie. So then they did the Fifty Shades of Grey thing. It sounded good in theory. Everybody was excited about the shit. But then the movies came out and it's like, yo, this Go wasn't ahead. what I was expecting. You. Yeah, j- just imagine you meet the perfect man. He is everything you want him to be. You're in love with him. He's everything you've ever wanted. Mm. And he- he's just yours forever. You're like, yo, why are you so fucking perfect? I hate you. I hate the fact that you're perfect for everything. He cooks. He cleans. He fucks. It's like, okay, that's cool. You're you're fucking me six times a day. You're washing the dishes. You're taking out the trash. It's like, yo, I don't want for anything. I don't need for anything. Like, we as humans, we, we need for something. But if you always have everything you want, you don't appreciate the shit you don't have. That's why this side... I don't know, like, how can you appreciate someone and just completely just be grateful with somebody that's here all the time every day yeah it, it, it's for me i just feel like a lot of guys and i can only speak for the men i keep saying this like i can only speak for the men a lot of men don't understand like how good they have it until they almost lose it and every single man that i know that is in a better relationship that they you know had been before Mm-hmm. The reason why their relationship is better is because they almost lost that good situation every single time. I've seen guys tell me, and I've even been that guy. I was like, yo, like I almost lost that. I almost lost, like before my marriage, I was like, I almost lost her because I decided I wanted to fuck around. And mm-hmm. it, it wasn't even me like messing, like being messed up or doing like stupid shit. I'm out here and, you know, I'm. I'm feeding into you know the fire that was fueled you know mm-hmm. the women they see me in a relationship they're like oh my god like he's in a relationship let me let me see what that's about let me test the water something we talked about earlier and yeah a, a few a few of them were actually in this chat shout out to them but oh, it, it, yeah. it's just the truth oh no no we, we keep it honest around here but basically it's one of those things where when i you know when you have your truths you own them but there are a lot of people who just act like all of a sudden like th- they're perfect in the moment like you're not i'm not perfect you're not perfect but they're are people who feel like, oh, well, you know, I, I can be perfect by the examples that are led. No, you, you can't. There, there's no way. Absolutely no fucking way. Let's play these voice, man. I personally don't feel like people respect secrets more. What I feel like is people like bad news. I mean, bad news sell. Yeah. Look at the news. That's yeah. all you hear is bad news. That's what sells. Yeah, people, if you post something good in your life, you'll get like two likes. If you post something horrible in your life, it's going to be like a million likes, people sharing it, people commenting. I'm just like, damn. Sorry, I got cut off. But what I was saying was bad news sell. Look at the news. I mean, you can have five people or one person that say five people you know, from a fire, everything, it'll make the news. But if you got this person over here that killed five people, yeah. that's going to sell more. That's just yeah. what it is. So it ain't necessarily like, you know, hey, I'm doing this, so I'm doing that. And you keeping secrets. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's just bad news to them. Whether they realize it or not, that's just bad news to them. So they want to take that in. That's just human nature. Bad news sell. You want to find out the next thing on someone. That's just what it is. Bottom line, period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I absolutely agree, man. Like it, It's just crazy knowing that like we are in, I will not say an era, but it's just more so we're in a position where the bad news like you said it sells and 
not only do we feed into it, it's like, that's all we know. I open up Twitter in the mornings. I'm expecting positivity, but there's not like, I mean, there's definitely titties. Cause I mean, who doesn't like titties on a timeline, <laughs> but outside of that, like there's always like right now, like the past, what, two weeks, two, three weeks since the election, everything like that have been mm-hmm. the, the happiest I've ever been because I haven't had to wake up every morning to be like, yo, how is the world burning today? Now it's just more so it's like, okay, now they're trying to fix the world. I'm like, yo, some things I, I don't feel like they're immediately supposed to be fixed. Like, ironically, after the election, all of a sudden, now they're trying to push out this fucking COVID thing. And I, I, this is not like, you know, that type of show for this. We're talking about side pieces. But you know, I'm noticing like, okay, it's gone from like bad news to being like, how can we improve? But now they're doing like the most. I'm like, I, I'm not there yet. I'm still trying to cope from the last like three and a half years. And a lot of people right now, like we, all we know is bad news because that's all we see. Like the algorithms and the apps and stuff like that, they they filter that shit to us. It's like, how can we fuck your day up right now? How can we fuck it up with bad news? So, you know, I guess just tying it in, like some good news is just knowing that, you know what? Uh, uh, a side piece said, you know what? I'm going to suck you to sleep. Uh, Chris Brown said, I'm going to fuck you back yeah. to sleep, girl. Hey. Yo, uh, um, imagine a dude, ladies, imagine a dude literally saying the same shit that Chris Brown had said in that song, outside of beating on you and shit like that. You know, <laughs> uh, 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 um, um, uh, um, imagine a dude saying, you know, just saying that, like, that's a text message to you at like at one thirty in the morning. He, he's leaving a nightclub or the bar or something like that. He's with his homeboys and he texts you, you up and then you hit him with the, no, not really. I'm about to go to sleep. And then he hits you back with the, well, I'm going to fuck you back to sleep, girl. And then you know you know that, you know the reaction is going to be, hey, oh, not only is he getting this pussy, he might get this ass too if he act right. And you, you, you know how y'all are. You, you, you know how y'all are. You know how it is. Well, do we have any other voicemails? Do we, we, yeah, have, we do. still have. Preach. Spread the word. Preach. Yes, she did eat the apple, but that doesn't make it right. It doesn't. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. It's all one. You be committed to one. And that ain't religion. That's just what it is. Whether you believe it or not, that's on you. That's on you. That's something that you got to deal with. One Lord, one faith. One baptism. It's all one. Mm. Come on, you know. And exactly. that's what the issue also too was with my relationship with this dude also. I think um, you know, even though like I said, he was giving me the expectations that he was gonna leave her, at the same time I think I wanted him to treat me the same as he would treat her because even though I was maybe the side chick also in my mind I felt like this was a relationship and I need to be treated as uh, as equal as you treat her or as good as you treat her so if you taking her out on a date shit nigga take me out on a date too and so that also played into a factor as to why I left him as well Mm-hmm. Fellas, you, you heard you heard that. You do take them out to dinner. You take out the not the side chick. I hate saying that fucking word. The side piece. <laughs> um, what, what uh, side piece sounds better than side chick? So I'm gonna just start saying side piece. So you know, fellas, if you do have a side piece, I'm lazy you have a side piece. Um, don't, don't go and take and get them an egg McMuffin. Go and take them to lunch, but don't take them to the brunch. Take them to yeah, t- take them to. Don't take them to the all you can eat brunch. Take them to the the one plate brunch, like the the one that's like, all right, it's it's twenty eight dollars. You ate, I ate good. Close the tab, boom. Like you you go home, I, I go home. All you can eat places. I feel like that shit is just so like, just like really. You want me to come here and eat with you? Everything for seven dollars? All you can eat. I, I'm I'm gonna say this to you. When it comes to brunches, especially those all you can eat ones, I've absolutely I hate every single one I've ever been to. And the reason the reason why the reason why is because they, they pump you full of all this cheap ass alcohol. I'm like, yo, I get it. I, I like mimosas like any look, look I love mimosas. I absolutely love mimosas, but I no. don't like the vodkas that they put in them. Like I don't want stoli vodka 
and orange juice. If you won't give me vodka, give me vodka that I know for a fact that the, the shit doesn't taste like anything. I just want my vodka to taste like the orange juice that is poured in. I went to a bottomless brunch before. Uh, it was, a, I think this was right before the pandemic. So the wife and I, we decided we were going to go to a drag brunch. So her and I, we went to a drag brunch for one of her coworkers. So we yeah. go, they were getting married and it was her, her future husband, my wife and I, and it was like two or three other couples. And it was like two individual people. So we go to this drag brunch and they tell us, they're like, oh, well, great. Like, you know, we're going to have everybody come in here. Like if you have like single dollar bills, cool. If you don't, we can give you change at the bar, blah, 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 blah. We're, I'm, I'm completely with this shit. Cause I'm like, yo, I've never been to a drag brunch before. Everybody I've that seen I know, the video, but they just look wild. All, all my white coworkers, all my white coworkers love this shit. They they think this, <laughs> like, you know, going they they think going to a drag brunch is honestly like the gun range, but like oh, with alcohol, shit. right? So, and I I'll, I'll I'll tell the axe throwing story after. But basically, we go to this drag brunch, and I was like, you know what? This is fun. Like you know, like they're you know they're drag queens. That yeah, cool. Like everybody's having fun. And honestly, like if Q is still in here, he can tell you. Like like brunches like those are like really a staple in DC because it's not derogatory. Like everybody's there to have fun they're there to drink they're there to eat. The issue is the eating part. They will feed you stoli vodka, which is like, you can buy a, like a fifth for like 16 bucks and you can get the stoli vodka and the orange juice. They pour it in there and it's bottomless. So literally you can have like 15 of these but the thing is a lot of people will go and they'll they'll walk in so the brunch will start at like 11 so it's from 11 to maybe like one or two so 11 o'clock you walk in and they hand you the stoli like the mimosa and you keep drinking them and throwing them shits back and then around like 12 o'clock they're like hey by the way the food's here but at that point you've already had fucking four or five drinks you are fucked up yo listen to me I, I was so drunk at this drag brunch. You you ever like go to the bathroom and you just had to stand in the mirror and look at yourself? It's like, yo, who created me? Like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? Who are you? Yo, yo like you you ever had a full fledged conversation with yourself in a bathroom mirror because you're drunk? You like you know you gotta pull your shit together. Like this this ain't right. this ain't you. Oh no no no! This this shit was unreal. Like my job uh-huh. now. I was like, yo. I came out of the bathroom and it wasn't a stumble that I hit. I hit one of those, like those two steps out, like the music was playing and I acted like I was about to trip, but instead I just did a little two step real quick going back to the seat. So my wife says to me, she's like, Greg, are you drunk? I was like, I was drunk like 20 minutes ago. I'm sober now, but I got to pee a lot. And she's like, what do you mean? I got to pee. I was like, yeah, I need to sit on the outside. Cause if I have to keep getting up, I'm gonna have to pee. So I went to the bathroom like two or three times. I ate the food. The food was delicious, but at that point, I was so drunk that I couldn't tell you what I grabbed. They were like, Greg, you had scrambled eggs. You had bacon. I had something. Um, I had salmon, and I'm allergic to fucking fish. I don't know how the fuck that happened. I was like, wait, when they start serving salmon at brunch? Uh-huh. So needless to say, like the drag brunch was really fun. Um, tying it all in, when you go and take people to like different dates, like take your wife to the the bottomless one because you know for a fact not only are you going to get some ass after that but you can go to sleep in your own place don't take the side chick or the you know the side piece to the bottomless brunch don't take them to the nightclub where it's free before 11 and you know the bartenders and shit like that don't do that don't do what greg has done before it's all (laughs) bad all bad news Oh man, so much lessons tonight. Oh, and hey, Greg, don't forget about Carl Thomas. I wish I never met at all. At all. He was talking about being the side dude in that song. Man, oh my goodness. Hold on, she she gonna make me she gonna make me do it. Hold on. Actually, you know what? No, no. Mm, hold on, I gotta read this now. Carl Thomas. <sighs> I, I gotta read the lyrics. Give, that was give me a good one album. second, cause I, I got. Let me play this one voicemail and you get your lyrics. Go ahead. All men knew what that sweet little loop dee loop dee shit meant. See? We all fucking knew. It's that feeling. Oh, man. Poor hold team. On, hold on, hold on. I, I, I got the lyrics now. So, Carl Thomas <laughs> said, <laughs> this shit is so funny. Like, oh my God, these side chick songs. Are, we we got to put up a playlist. So, anybody who is listening to side us right pieces, now. Uh, like, because we, they we, are we, not we, explicit. Yes. What are some side what are some side piece songs that you know for a fact were made, either by women or men? I will give y'all one. Keisha Cole's I shouldn't have cheated. I should have oh, cheated. Yeah. Like so, but let, let me go and uh read the lyrics to Carl Thomas's I Wish. 
It was love at first sight. I knew the way she looked at me. Her eyes said it all. Long days and nights we spent until she dropped the bomb on me when she said that she was unhappily married with children. <laughs> that's, hey, that, that's some fire. Then he said, and I, how do you go from that sentence to saying, and I wish I never met her at all, even though I love her so. She got <laughs> love for me, but she still belongs to someone else. <sighs> but, no, verse two is so, it's so much worse. He said, it hurts so bad for sure because she wants to be with me, but she cannot be with me. She chose to stay. Oh, so like, did she tell you that sir? <laughs> Did you she he say did. these exact words? She did not say that shit to him at all. She ran gay. <laughs> no, he, he said so she could stay at home so they could be a family for the children. Drive by early in the morning. You no. know how addicted you have to be to do a drive by on somebody early in the morning? Yo, you this is the ultimate side. This might be one of like the top five side, you know, like side piece songs. Cause he said she chose to stay at home. So she could be a family for the children. But what about me? Yo, that is, that's the ultimate fuckboy behavior. Do that too. They'd be like, oh, I'm staying for the kids. No, you're not. Yo, um, imagine being a woman with kids and the dude that, you know, you're, you're talking to or whatever. He's like, yo, I'm trying to drop this dick off in your drawers, right? And then she says, no, I the kids. <laughs> and he was like, but what about me? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but what about me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I have another one before we get to the next voicemail. So the, the, the Neo So Sick song, right? This man said, I got to change my answering machine now that I'm alone. Because right now it says that we can't come to the phone. And now it makes no sense because you walked out the door. But it's the uh-huh. only way I hear your voice anymore. Do you know uh-huh. this song came out in 2004? We weren't using voicemails in 2004. I know it. We had Mm -hmm. cell phones. He said, it's ridiculous. It's been months, and for some reason, I just can't get over us. He's a fucking stalker. That is some stalking shit right there. Then he said, that sounds like like my ex that still sends me lunch money from like 14 years ago. He he, he he affirmed to himself that he was stronger than this. He said, enough is enough. No, No more walking around with my head down. I'm so over being blue, crying over you. And then he said, I am so sick of love songs, so tired of tears, so uh-huh. done with wishing that you were still here. Poor said, I am so sick of love songs, so sad and slow. Why can't I turn off the radio? And mind, mind you, he, he was in the car. He, you could tell he was in the car en route to her house to probably murder her because Neo looked like the type to, hey, if you ain't answering his calls, he, 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 he might, you might end up being a body. Then he said, Wait, he had a f- okay. Wait a minute, Neil. Just reading these lyrics a while, he says, "I gotta fix that calendar I have that's marked July fifteenth because oh. since there's no he said because since there's no more you, there's no more anniversary. I'm so fed up with my thoughts of you and your memory and how every song reminds me of what we used to be. That's the reason I'm so sick of love songs." <sighs> Mm-hmm. And I thought mm-hmm. Donnell Jones was out here wilding out. Donnell Jones with the sweet little bee, the dee dee. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. That's- <laughs> um, we do have like toxic um, side piece, like escape my little secret. She said, I like being in the same room with you and your girlfriend. The fact that she don't know that really turns me on. Girl. Wait, wait, was she under the bed? She said, Girl. She Wow, um, that's <laughs> spicy! Oh my, yo, I need to, I need to hear some more. Like classic, um, I can love you with uh, Mary J. Blige and Lil Kim. Man, oh my god, mm. I need, I need somebody to go ahead and right now instead of me reading these toxic ass, like you know, these side chick, side you know, side piece songs, I need y'all to go and let us know in the voicemails what is a toxic like side piece song because you know my favorite right now is Sweet Lum Dee Dum Dee Dee which is Donnell Jones where I want to be shout out to Shane because no Greg <laughs> Greg I have to read this I have to read this this looks like somebody's concerned grandma so I'm on this site that has like it's titled songs about side chicks and side dudes and Uh-oh. somebody's grandmother our mom comes into the fucking 
<laughs> the fucking article and leave a comment, a long comment. It says, why be in a relationship at all if you're going to keep disrespecting and cheating on them? The one about having no regrets after not just cheating, but doing it with the best friend years disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> not oh, just the setup, God. but suppose best <clears throat> friend, but having no regrets over it. This person who will never be trusted. Then she goes as much as um, somebody who hacked the GPS on their cheating location. I also have proof um, Jesus. from their constant messages and chats. She said, um, anyone can also contact Hacking Loop on 712-292-2655 if you have a trust issue in your marriage. He is a truly a cyber genius. So she's giving tips for people who think someone is cheating. And she left an email, hackingloop6 at gmail.com, who hacks into people's GPS to see if they're cheating. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, I, I, I got I got another one. I, I just thought about this. Um, so th- th- this song is by an artist where honestly he is the reason for Ebonics, and he's the reason why there are a lot of people that were born in the young age of like 1996 and above who can no longer spell the actual word fabulous, and they spell it F A B O L O U S. Um, Mr. Fabulous or Fab Fabulous can't let you go. So the lyrics are the ultimate side piece song. Baby girl, you know my situation. And sometimes I know you get impatient. But you don't put on a show to get ovations, take it to court and go through litigations. He said, Yo, let, let, let me let me keep going because it gets better. It gets better. He says, and I respect your gangster, treat you like a princess and put some on your neck to thank you. Where oh, she's my pitch hit. No, he says she's my pinch hitter. When the starting lineup ain't playing right, I come off the bench with her. That if that is not a side piece song. It, it, no, it, 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 no, the, the lyrics, the chorus is so profound. The the chorus says, I really want to be with you, but I gotta be real with you. I can't leave you alone. Now, mind you, you just told her I wanna be with you. I got to be real with you, but I can't leave you alone. I, I can't. The pussy's so good. I, I can't leave you alone. And I know I'm living wrong, but I can't let you go. You're the one I want in my life. And then, mind you, imagine being uh, Emily B. He says, you're the only one I want in my life. I already got a wife. I can't leave you alone. And you know I'm living wrong, but I can't let you go. Let, 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 let the church say amen. Let, let the church say amen if you are hearing Mr. F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S talking that bullshit because he said, I, I can't let you go. I yeah. can't let you go. He, he <clears> can't <throat> give Emily a ring, but he can give her more babies. Ah, yo, hold on. Let, let me, I, I'm, I'm going down a playlist right now. So we, we have Billy Paul, me and Mrs. Jones, me and Mrs. Jones. I, I, we got a I, thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> we got a thing going on, mm. but we both they, know it's wrong. Same time. Oh my god! Oh, we got, we got some voicemails. Let, let's go ahead and play these voicemails. Man, you forgetting about you made me want to lead a one way to start a new relationship with you. Is what you do, and in a memory, you made me, you made me want to lead the one I'm with. Yo, that's that make me want to cheat right now. Yo, you know how much fire that is. Okay, um, Scissor has a song about uh. Uh, Being a side piece on the weekend. Okay. <laughs> Do you know that one? She's like, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, he's yours, but I just keep him satisfied on the weekend. Man, l- listen to me. Listen to me. Let- I have the lyrics queued up already. So, <sighs> here we go. So, Sissa says, <laughs> You say you got a girl. Yeah. How you want me? How you want me when you got a girl? The feeling is reckless of knowing it's selfish and knowing I'm desperate. 
getting all in your love, feeling <laughs> all over love. Like, do it till it hurts less. SZA is telling the dude, hey, you know what? Fuck me until it hurt less. Meaning, fuck me till I'm hurting, but fuck me again no, until it hurt less. I can't feel anything. I've, I've been yes. there. Come on, hollow no. tips. Here's the thing. She said, hanging out the back, <laughs> all up in your lap. Like, is you coming home or is you out with her? She said, are you coming home? Now, listen, listen to me. She said, are you coming home? That's not even his yeah. house, sweetie. That, that's not even his house. He can pull that's up in not- the drive ever. And then, then, bro, the, the the chorus, the chorus, she says, my man is my man is your man. Her, it's her man, too. Yo, yes. if that, then she said, my man. <laughs> My Tell man me. is my man is your man. Her, that's her man too. Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Man, if, if, if the church can hear me preaching right now, if the church can hear me, I need you to be like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because yeah. she said, she said, I just keep him satisfied through the weekend. You keep nine uh-huh. to five. I'm the weekend. Oh, Lord. Now, mind you, the ad lib is, oh, Lord. Make him lose his mind every weekend. You take Wednesday, Thursday, ju- then just send him my way. I think I got it covered. She said, I think I got it covered for the weekend. Yo, who, my Lord. Let the, ch- let the church rejoice if they can understand. If you have ever been a side piece and they say, you know what? I just keep him satisfied through the weekend. Lordy, Lordy. You know what? You know what? I, I got another lyric. I ain't going to tell you a song. But I'm going to just read the lyrics because the, the lyrics are the ultimate side chick song. But here we go. <sighs> I don't think y'all ready. I don't think y'all ready. I, do we have another voice? Go ahead and play another voice. Michael Jackson voice had mode. one too. Girlfriend. He said, girlfriend, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell your boyfriend. Tell him exactly what we're doing. He was a here we so here we, what, what's, what's today's date? What, what's today's date? 23rd. Today's the 23rd. So when we started the show, what day was it? Um, the 22nd. The 22nd of loneliness. And we've been through so many things. I love my man with all honesty, but I know he's cheating on me. I look him in his eyes, but he tells me his lies to keep me near. I've never leave, I'll never leave him down, though I might mess around because it's only I need some affection. So I creep. Yeah. Just uh, creeping on the down low. Said nobody is supposed to know. So I creep, yeah, because he doesn't know what I do. So no attention goes to show. Oh, so I creep. Then, then today, what's today's date, Shan? Please just let me know what today's date is. The 23rd. Of loneliness. And we don't talk like we used to. Now, it seems pretty strange, but I'm not bugging because I still feel the same. Yeah. I keep giving love until the day he pushes me away. Never go astray. If he knew the things I did, he couldn't handle it. And I choose to keep him protected. Mm, mm. You think there's a lot of women out here protecting men egos? Man, yes, they are. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. That's a classic. Mm, mm, mm. He got four voicemails. Hey, shout out to Hey Greg and shout out to She uh, Gets Sit Pod. Yeah. What the fuck? Yo, yeah. shout out to you guys, man. You already know the vibes. You don't know how I'm going still. Y'all here? You feel me? Wow. So, you know, yo, it's on a real team still. Side piece songs. Whoa. I never heard about that shit. What's up with that? Side piece songs. They're realistic. We know all of them. Man, yes, we do. My so, team piece too long. Hey, Come hey, help. I- Oh. <laughs> oh, it is 11.22. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what's up, fat fuckers? You're a bitch and I fuck Oh, get this, get it. Switch. Oh, no. you is wrong. Um, I don't want to be right. Hey. Yes, Lord. Fucker. Oh, so. I, I need somebody to sing this song to me because this is honestly one of my favorite songs. And this That's came it. up on my pl- this this came up in my playlist of side piece songs. Literally, there's a side piece song on uh, like a playlist on Spotify, and it's by none other than John B's. They don't know. So I'm a, I'm gonna read the lyrics, but I want somebody yeah. to sing it to me because I, I, he said uh, you, me. That's my shit. Yeah, he said heard about the past things I used to do, the games I used to play. The girls that didn't last, I know what's on your mind. 
you think I'm doing wrong. Mm-hmm. Can I say what is real? You are the only one. Now, mind uh-huh. you, right there, the, the, the woman's about to give him the ass right then. But he's going to keep going. He says, when I'm not around, do you think of me or what the jealous ones are claiming me to be? You should know by now that it's going to take a lot of trust from you for us to make it through. Ooh, ooh. He, he, he moved the focus. He put it on her. Man, Man what? Oh, my. No, then... then Yes. Let, let, let's, let's read the chorus. He says, don't listen to what people say. They don't know about you and me. Put it out your mind because it's jealousy. He said, them bitches hating. Not you, sweetie. Them bitches hating. Amen. Then he says, they don't know about this here. Don't listen to what people say. They don't know about you and me. Just put it out your mind because it's jealousy. They don't know about this here. Then he, he, he had a whole second verse. He already won with the first verse. He said, you know what? I'm going to double down on this shit because that's mine right there. He said, <laughs> No, no, no. Here's the thing. He went from talking about her. He called her out in the first verse. And then the second verse, he's talking about her friends, her ain't shit friends. Because honestly, a lot of side pieces, they friends ain't shit either. And he said, I'm going to address their ass too. He said, girl, let's talk about what your friends told you, that I'm a selfish man, want my cake and eat it too. Maybe in the past, but you have changed me now. Now that I've learned your love, it is you that showed me how. Your love so real, I'd be a fool to play play around with you i want to stay with you you should know by now that it's going to take a lot of trust from you to you know what <clears throat> donnell jones got some competition yeah <laughs> got some competition yeah. <laughs> that nigga was lying any man that tells you that you make it change nah bro you on that same shit man listen <laughs> Do, do we have another voice? Actually, anybody who is in here right now, please share this. Please follow and do the clap thing. We like the clap thing. I know some ahead. side piece songs on front. Y'all what about as we slept the night away? Oh, yeah. As we lay, <laughs> we forgot about tomorrow. As we lay. <laughs> you better sing it, girl. You better sing that. No, no, she got to sing that to us. Like, I want her to sing that to us. Please, sweetie. Please. If you sing that to me, I might go to sleep tonight. Um, that, that right there? Yeah. Knows, SWV, you're the one for me. That's one. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> What? Yes, it is. Now, here we go. I, I, I got another one for you, Shan. I ain't going to tell you the artist. I ain't going to tell you the song. I'm going to just read a couple of the lyrics, and you're going to know exactly what it is. So, Okay. Because if she catch me with you, she's going to kill us. These hotel rooms is looking too familiar. Your now she love goes. is so, so serious. Girl, you keep me coming. Back, that is. I oh, be with she- her thinking of you. I be with you thinking of her, my boo. She just don't deserve this. Ain't nobody perfect. But I just can't take no more because I'm living two different lives. One girl in the day, you at night. And even though this ain't right, I just can't get enough of the way you put it down. You really got me tripping. Hold up, baby girl. Don't talk. Just listen. Let's just make love. Girl, for the last time. Yep, I said the last time. Girl, this is the last time. This is Joe to see. And and it's time to put it down. You really got me tripping. Hold up, baby girl. That is Trey Song's last time. Oh, see, I don't listen to Trey Song because every time he sings, I feel like he's crying. Oh, yeah, he do the little trembling lip shit and everything. (laughs) Trembling lip shit. (laughs) Man, I'm... Bro, do do you realize... (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um... (laughs) Tell me we got another voicemail because so- somebody's in here right now. Like, yo, I know all of them. So- don't listen to what the people say. They don't know about, about you and me. Put it out your mind because it's jealousy. They don't know about this here. Yes, yes Lord. Different side claps. Side claps. Yes, indeed. Y'all need to clap for that. Mm-mm-mm. Now, what was that Joe <laughs> song where he was talking about what um, he'll do, what your man won't do? Oh, all the, th- the song was called All the Things Your Man Won't Do. Oh, mm-hmm. sh- He said, Hey, love, you say you need someone to be there for you, to love you all night long. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I, 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 I think. You have to look no further because I'm right here and I'm ready to do all the things your man won't do. Tell me what kind of man would treat his woman so cold. Treat her like you treat you like you're nothing when you're worth more than gold. 
Yo, that right there is the ultimate I'm a star bitch line right there. He said, Bars. girl, to me, you are like a diamond. I love the way you shine. A hundred million dollar treasure. I'll give you the world to make you mine. I will put a string of pearls right in your hand. Make love on the beach of jet black sand. Outside in the rain, we can do it all night. Out to tour the places he would not. And some you never thought would get you high. Nothing is forbidden when we touch. Yo, um, L O C J had a bunch of them hoes. He had um, "Love You Better." What else he had? Um, "Hey Lover." He was talking about what kind of man have you taken the bus, honey? Um, yeah. This is L O C J said this. How you doing, miss? My name is L. I'm from Queens. I heard about your man. He liked to lace you with cream. Dolce Gabbana, Moschino with Donna jeans. But he slipped up. He threw his rock to a fiend. Now he playing like a willy because he dressed your love. Never knowing that his woman was in need of love. You got Versace, gold links, stomach chains with rocks. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. What 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 else we got in these voicemails? Cause we we got so many side chick songs that I don't listen to what people say. They'll know about about you and me. Put it out to mind, cause it's jealousy. They don't know about this here. <laughs> Again, we need to follow her. They follow don't her. know. Uh, Yay! What, what, what's her name again? I can't see uh, her name on here. I think it's Say- Saya. Well, hey, we, we're gonna say her name. Yes, indeed. I, um. Oh, wait a minute. Think about it. Saya, say your name. Say my name. Say my name when no one else is around you. Say, baby, I love you. <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> <laughs> now wait oh t-pain got one too so one of my friends is listening right now on uh what's the name so he says t-pain shorty he said even though i'm not your man you're not my girl i'm gonna call you my shorty because i can't stand to see you treated bad i beat his ass for my shorty and we ain't did nothing we ain't supposed to do because you my shorty Baby mm-hmm. girl, you know I'd be home. Keep me on the ring. To- Yo, he said, you know what? I don't even want you to answer my phone call on silent. Keep me on the ringtone. And then oh, he man. said, sing it. He, t- he told her to sing it to me, girl. And then he said, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 I hate that. I hate that. I Yes. Yes. Mm-mm. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Tell me like a diamond. I love the way you shine. Don't sing that shit. <laughs> My brother, man. Mm-hmm. Why are you in here whispering, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't realize I was reading the side chick, the, the side, the side piece songs. So fine. I, I will not read with the whisper. So here we go. So she got the body of a goddess. Everybody know that. Super cute face and the booty so fat. Mm. I'm in a club dropping 24 stacks because I'm in love and it's a well-known fact. Guess he knows what I'm doing. If a nigga chilling with the stripper, then he never go back home. She got eyes, butter pecan brown. Can't leave it alone. Mm. Liking the way that she's breaking it down on the floor. Need to get her over here. Show her where it's about to go down right now. I'm in love with a stripper. <laughs> Talk to a king. He, he said, you and yo, yo, this man said, he doubled down on it. He said, I'm in love with a stripper. She really think I'm playing. I'm playing. She take me for a joke when I say it. I'm in love with a stripper. I got to get her. Got to get with her. I can't stay out this club. Right then, you already knew. He was trying to close that night. Anybody who says some shit like that, Mm, 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 mm. We we need to hear some more. I, I want to hear some more side, you know, some more side piece songs. Cause we got we got one. Um, voicemail. Let's see who's saying. I'm gonna love you better. Yeah, yeah you know that's a side piece. 
Yeah. Yeah, knew what he was doing. Knew what he was singing about. Facts. Why hasn't LL Cool J gotten the Chad Stiggs endorsement? I don't know. I, you know what? Why hasn't he? That's he over is definitely it. like. Yo, hold on. I have I have another one. Somebody else sent me this one. So sh- shout out to them because they're listening live and they're sending me these songs. So, <laughs> <sighs> yo, this is definitely a side nigga song. Three in the morning. You know I'm horny. So why won't you come over my face and <laughs> you put a know smile I'm on horny. my face? That's not my job, sir. <laughs> Leaving the club, shorty, hurry up so we can get this party started and take off our clothes now. You oh, God. already know what time it is. Reach up in the dresser where the condoms is. And this sounds like a, this sound never... like a um, somebody's granddaddy is about to get something in, honey. <laughs> yo, yo, he said reach up in that dresser where the con- Wait, why is the dresser vertical? He said reach up in the dresser where them condoms is. And baby, when I get it, I'll never let go. I'm going to take it slow. He said we ain't going to stop till 9 a.m. If you Look. can't take it all, baby, say when. Make you come oh, over it. and over again, and then I'ma leave it in. Don't you know this? bullshit? This is Chris Brown. He said, oh. and I'ma repeat it. He said, he said, if you can't take it all, baby, say when. Make you come over and over again, and then I'ma leave it in. Don't you be on no bullshit. Mm-hmm. Listen, clearly, was he on his his second kid now? Mm-hmm. Um, Chris Brown is um. Dragging like a wagon in the front. So, see, you, you like elephant trunk dicks, though. That's that's you. That's I don't. You. I don't like disability dicks. I like mediums. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Can you repeat yourself again? For disability for dicks are dicks that are really very blessed, and they leave you hollow. And that's something like I give me half now, and I give me half next week. Like I can't be taking that every day of the week. Like the, what the fuck I look like. <laughs> Now, question. Since we're since we're talking about the ultimate, like you know, the the side piece conversation, mm-hmm. whose boy was it? Was it Brandy's or was it Monica's? Who was going harder? <laughs> I think Monica. I think Monica was going pretty. I feel hard. like Monica would definitely shoot you for her man. Oh, absolutely. She just give me absolutely. like some some Atlanta hoodness. Yeah, she she looks like she would literally stay in front of your house, and then when you wake up in the morning to go to work. But she said that, work. didn't she say that in that um, song with Missy Elliott, where yeah. she was like, she'll be in front of the house. Yeah, she said, "Tell the other <laughs> chick I'm not having it." I was like, "Oh, okay, she crazy, crazy, See? she cra- crazy, crazy." <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> she's crazy crazy like oh got to watch out for her now and know who to cheat on and didn't know who not to cheat on I, I need to know we we still got people in here they need to let us know um we we already said me and mrs jones we said the entire donnell jones album um we we did one of neo's songs we did a chris brown song what are some other like some some side dude side chick side people songs though like we did a fabulous camera. Baby girl said, if you really, really want it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, All you yes. got to do is, she she was going yes. behind her man. Come on now, cuz she, she knew what she was singing about too, man. I would have slapped five on her, bro. <laughs> If you're looking to find a love that was straight to the end of time, we let your mind. My love is here. Oh man, oh, Montel Jordan. If it's all right, let's go somewhere and get it on tonight. I got a girl, got but you girl, look but good, you good tonight. Good. It's one on no one tonight. Tonight. Yeah. Oh my God. Yo, why are we all reminiscing of Your about- girl is here with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yo, what the hell? Like- Yo, oh my god, I- I'm literally over here right now looking at like side piece. Songs. There's so many. Like, did you know like three fourths of all of Trey songs, like songs, are just like side piece shit? Um, Donnell Jones too, but bro, there are so many. Like Tory Lanez, say it. That was a. F- I'm like, yo, shout out. You to know him. what people don't talk about? 
people don't talk about um, women's friends who be hitting on their niggas. Mm-hmm. Remember that K song um, where he was telling his girl that his his uh, girl's friend is not really her friend because she be trying to get with him on the on the backside. Exactly. Don't nobody talk about that. <laughs> Don't nobody talk about it. Like I'm still like you know we, we don't have, we're not fan we are we are absolutely not fans of the guy named Robert Kelly. But I have consistently been asking Listen. people for the past like ten years. The the song same girl right. Um, my, my issue with this song is the video. Um, you could have told us if they were twins the entire fucking time. Um, what I don't twins think do I've you seen know that. that okay, so. The, the music video and the, the actual song say two completely different things. According to the song, R. Kelly and Usher are dating the same woman. Um, they're not twins. They work the same job. They drive the same car. They live in the same house. Mm. They wear the same clothes. Um, the, the issue is the music video, it shows a pair of twins. Um, so I, I, I sat there for a, a good like five or ten minutes. And I was trying to figure out how. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna read some of these lyrics because I, I've never seen a pair of twins that literally look this identical. So or have this much. So it says, "Man, she's so fine, straight up dog. She stand about five five, Coca Cola red bone. She drive a black Durango, oh. license license plate say Angel, tattoo on her ankle. Plus she making pesos. Got a crib on P Street, right yes. on 17th Street. And I call her TT. Wait a minute, hold on, dog. Do she got a kid? Yes. She loves some Waffle House. Yep." <laughs> She got a beauty mark on the left side of her mouth, man. She went to oh, no. tech. Yes. Work for TBS. Yes. Man, I can't believe this chick. Mm, oh, wait a minute, old dog. Tell me what's wrong, dog. What the hell are you damning about? I'm your homie, so just tell me what's on your mind. Man, I don't know what you're talking about. About her, man, tell me what you know. Do I know her? Like the pastor knows his word. We messing with the same girl. Here's the thing. Um, oh. h- here's the thing. Um, So, apparently, the second verse, it goes... See, I met her at this party in Atlanta. Well, I met her at this party in Chicago. She came right up to me, giving me conversation. She said, do I have a man? No. She said, no, with hesitation. Um, the issue is not that verse, because all that verse is like fluff. What <laughs> twins do you what, what twins do you know live in two different places? They both the same height. They both the same color complexion. They both drive a black Durango. Both of the cars have the same license plate that say Angel. Um, they both have a tattoo on their ankle. They both work at the same job at the same place, live at the same time, and they both have a kid with the same name that looks the same. Um, and they both have a beauty mark on the side of their mouth. I've never seen a set of twins that do this shit. Um, oh, no. It's not like both of them were in denial. Yeah. Um, sh- shout, shout out to Usher, not R. Kelly. Um, but I- I'm just really confused by that song. Because, yo, you trying to tell me they had the same birthmark, nigga? Like, no, no. Mm-hmm. 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 No, a- absolutely not. Anyway, well, moving right along. I wanted to go through some of these other, like, side chick anthems. Because I- I'm-, I'm in the mood to just talk about side chick anthems right now. Or side piece anthems. Because, you know, somebody's going to be offended. Um, As how always. Do feel ab- how do you feel about... Mm, I, I want to do that song. Um, come and talk to me. I feel like that, that I really wanna meet you. Can I can I talk to you? I don't have no problem with it. I, I love that mm-hmm. fucking song. Oh, I, oh, I love that oh, song. oh. <laughs> now what is what is that song? Um it's like it's like ten minutes long and in the middle of the song they're actually fucking. Like you can hear the girl, like f- it comes on like those. Oh, like, that's a Jodeci song. I hate that song. It used to make me cringe as a kid. No, no, it's no, it's not. It's not. I know it's not Joe. It's somebody else. Oh my god. Is it high five? Fuck- oh my god. Um, I want to say it's Silk, but it's not. It's not meeting in my bedroom. Love. But it's that. It's that. It's so raunchy. Like you can hear her like moaning in like the background. I cannot remember the name. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I can't. I can't remember what song. I heard it last week. I can't tell you the name of the yeah. song. Any, anybody who can remember this song, like, please let us know. Cause you nasty, you nasty. If you remember that shit, no, like, cause like they they were singing. Um, oh no, I know, I know the name of the song. Um, uh, it's intros come inside. Oh that, that's shit! What it's called. 
yeah so the song is called come inside um let me see if i can find the lyrics so the, the right. lyrics to the song are are so fucking outrageous i love this song so much if we got a voicemail play it before i get these lyrics though <laughs> Oh man, let me see. You're my little secret. That's <laughs> how we should keep it. Y'all know what song I'm talking about. Yes, indeed. Hey. Yes, indeed. Messing with the same girl. Same girl. That's what you was talking about? Yes, indeed. Yes, no, no, no. no. That that was same girl. That's the Usher and uh, R. Kelly joint. Yeah. Shout out to him for that voicemail. Obviously, please share this. Please go ahead and clap it up. Clap it up because he was singing his ass off in the last two voicemails. Clap it up for him. Please follow him. Yes. but Try to make a baby to that song. Revisited yeah. it to a uh, doctor chick See? later on in See? life. But um, <laughs> yeah, Joe See? Yeah. Yeah. So, Definitely this Jodeci. Um, so this song, I'm yeah, right, he's still that was in my weaker moments. Not his weaker oh, moments. Oh, strong he's now. Like- <laughs> I love those that love, but everybody don't love. They stuck on these songs and all that bullshit. But uh, yeah, I'm not selling you a dream. <laughs> yeah, not at all. So. So I'm, I'm going to just say this. The song is called Come Inside by Intro, right? So the chorus yeah. goes like this. Let me come inside. I'll keep you. I'll keep you satisfied tonight. If you want me, if you need me, turn okay. down all the lights. I'll make you feel all right tonight. Come inside. Come inside. So uh. the, the issue is, th- 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 no, the, the song right now is literally, it's about like 11 minutes long. There's two bridges to this song. I've never heard a song that has two bridges. So the bridge you know, basically back in like, the day when did. yeah well uh, according to the song though that was actually happening the person the lead singer was actually fucking as this was happening and recorded it and then played it into the song so the girl was like orgasm and everything on this song wildest fucking song i've ever heard in my life but i love it so so much so so you know- shop she gets it on teespring the link is in the bio. Don't act like I ain't tell you. Hit me up on the stereo app. Hit me up on Patreon. Hit me up on Red Circle. If you want to go ahead and cross promo, I'm here for you. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up at my email. She gets it pod at gmail.com. Hit me up on she gets it pod on ig i'm not hard to find let's get back into this show you know what i still can't listen to at my age in my 30s is biggie on that song where he's fucking because i keep getting a visual of biggie smalls fucking and i'm just like how sway yeah I don't know how. Hey, I'm I'm sorry. Like there are women who like like plus size guys. Cool, do your thing. Um, like you said, that Biggie song, that was nobody should ever hear. You could hear the bed squeaking. Like yeah, oh. <laughs> it was reckless. <laughs> I can't listen to that, and I can't listen to him coughing off the blunt. It's just nasty. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Um, honestly, now nah, I think about it. Like every maybe that's where that some cut. Like, remember the first like 20, 30 seconds of some cut when it's just like that bed squeaking? Maybe that mm-hmm. might have been like the reincarnation of Biggie because that, wow. that was a lot of fucking squeaking. That was a lot of squeaking. I was trying to make a baby to that one as well. As a matter of fact, front and back. Uh what do you call it? The the verse tape. Cause when that came out, it was no CDs really popping. Not unless you got a good <laughs> But uh, yeah, <laughs> front and back twice. Oh shit! Intro, Jodeci, and Aaron Hall. I think at the time. Aaron you know, Hall, you by nature, big, honey. That's my anthem. Pick a song. Yeah. That's my anthem. Aaron Hall, I miss you. I'm talking to my baby. He must have did her so dirty. Somebody on the side. Atlantic Star, yo. Secret love. Oh my God. That's what we are. 
Oh, we yes. A <laughs> That's oh, a classic. God, we had a duo. Shout out to them. You know what? Y'all need to clap it up for them. Please clap it yes. up for them, man. They, they are elite with y'all on stereo. You need to clap that Side up clap. for them. <laughs> for oh, sure. Yeah, Come and Talk to Me was by Jodeci. But Jodeci was the bomb, y'all. Like, Jodeci was all that in a bag of chips. But sure. yeah. But Come Inside, that was totally different. That was raunchy. Y'all were nasty back then. Like, y'all knew that one. This is me, young, y'all. Y'all got something hype here, y'all. Like, Mm -hmm. shout-outs to both y'all. So, yeah. uh, Yeah, like, clap it up, clap it up. Chime in for both y'all. Like, yeah, yeah. like, peace out to both y'all. Thank you. Now, Now, here's the thing. I'm going to play a clip of a song and I want people to actually guess the actual song. So th- th- this one, it's near and dear to my heart because every time I hear it, it, it's so fantastic. Like I feel like it's probably one of the greatest songs I've ever heard in my life. Um, they play it whenever they do like a slow song. Like when you're like, I guess when you were younger, your parents probably played this when they were about to fuck and you were driving home from wherever and they played it oh. and it's like, wait, there, there's no lyrics. There's no lyrics to this song, but it's so perfect. It's like the perfect, like, I'm about to get some ass song. Here we go. Uh, oh, it's my favorite song. Heart of Noise. This shit is like seven, eight minutes long. Yo, this is what happens if like um, Michael Myers had a sex edition. Like, yo, that- when <laughs> Philly, when the quiet storm comes on and it's like after like eight o'clock, that's all you hear. And then yeah. it gets to a point where it's like now, now, now. <laughs> Black Street, because I feel like before I let go, uh, before I let you go, that right there, that's a side chick song. Right? I that's like a side song. song. That song. Can I get uh, a kiss tonight? I remember when one of my friends was trying to get out the friend zone, and we went to the movies, and this nigga tried to like go in and kiss me. I'm just like, sir, no. Was so awkward. <laughs> was so awkward. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. I, th- I think we got a voicemail. Let's, let's, let's. Intro is Let Me Come Inside. I'll keep you, I'll keep you satisfied tonight. If you want me, if you need me. R.I.P. to Kenny. He passed away um, back in the 90s, but that was that song was fire. Intro, all these songs was fire in the 90s. So, yeah. Yes. Oh my god. In the mall, caught up, and it's time to put it down. You really got me tripping, and the whole lot just listen. This is the last time. Man, but all that being said, intro, most definitely, that's the first yes. time I ever felt the abortion ring. The, uh, oh, <laughs> chicks not getting pregnant or whatever. Because I'm trying to figure out what keep moving across my dick. Oh, shit. And, uh, yeah. I'm done. It's on some abortion shit. Or oh, not shit. having a female to get pregnant. It was uh, oh, Nova Ring. It was a couple different things. It started off a couple different things. Made oh, chicks bleed God. real bad. Fucked up chicks real bad. Like my chick at the time. Two self abortion. Oh, well, let's not go into that. But yeah, <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. Like, yeah. Yeah. so, so <laughs> shit gets it pod. Like, oh my god, yes. Could you imagine Biggie getting it on with you? No, or watching Biggie getting it on with anybody for real, girl. No, no, no. I love Biggie to the end, but for real, like Biggie getting it on with anybody, hell to the no, 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 girl. But the song was all right. The song was all right. But mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. can't do it. And then at the end, after they fucked, they fell off the bed. 
man, what? <laughs> it started laughing, though. <laughs> so, question, question. Before we get to the next voicemail, do you feel like Maxwell's Ascension, do you think that's a side piece song? I'm, I'm going to read the lyrics. Anybody who wants to sing it, feel free to okay. sing it because, you know, okay. I'm not a singer. So the lyrics are, it happened the moment when you were revealed because you were a dream that should not have been a fantasy real. You gave me this beating, baby, this rhythm inside, and you made me feel good and feel nice and feel loved. Yeah, he was Give definitely fucking fucking. And <laughs> pretty, sweet, pretty Wings was another one where he knew he was fucking and she was going to leave his ass. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I did that. I did that. It's not well recommended. And uh, my chick is from Brooklyn. Well, my ex chick is from Brooklyn. And yeah, I know big, I know a whole bunch of people, but yeah, just regular street shit. They just happen to get a deal and shit like that. But I mean, when you got to go back to the block, it's going to be the same shit regardless. Shout, shout, shout out to Biggie because didn't, didn't he come out with "You must be used to me spending and all this yeah. whining and dining, but I'm <laughs> fucking you tonight." <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. Yo, he, he told her straight up, but I'm. Fu-, he told he, he told her. He said, "But I'm fucking you tonight." And then Biggie I like. Went, it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I like. It. But now the song "Insatiable" by Prince. Oh yes. Mm. Now that one you can get down and dirty too. Oh, Prince yeah. has some songs out there just like <laughs> he will just take you away. You just have to turn the lights off and just like play his CD and just mm, there you go. It's done. Listen. Side piece songs with Hey Greg and she gets it power. You can follow me, Shouty. I'll be the side piece. Please make sure you follow them both here on live and please support your boy at Trillionaire Los and follow me back. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Come and talk to me. Mm-hmm. I really want to know your name. What was that? Come and talk to me. Come on, you know this song. Come and talk to me. I really want to know your name. Come on, somebody help me. Come and talk to me. <laughs> Yay. Hey, no, they got to sing again. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. Moments in love. Yes. Yes, Lord. Uh, I don't know the name, but it's actually played on a Saturday, normally Saturday afternoons, in every radio station. Uh, I would like to see what it is, but the way it travels is sonically beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, bruh, I'm going to go download that right now. I'm going to go download that right now. Love. Long ass that robot part was freaky as shit. You used to scare the fuck out of me. That's when I know it was time to take my ass to bed. Stop being nosy. <laughs> now, now, what, what, what about Lenny Williams? Because I love you. Is that a song? Oh, song? That man said he watched TV till TV went off. <laughs> Do you remember watching TV till TV went off? <laughs> he called his yes. crying about his girl, dog. Oh my God, man! He was going all. He had it with the oh, 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 oh. oh. Now wait, was that one was that one harder than R. Kelly's? Because R. Kelly, who had the who had the better oh? Was it Lenny Williams or was it R. Kelly? Now I, I know we ain't supposed to like R. Kelly, but R. Kelly had that oh, 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 oh. Well, can we ask R. Kelly now? Does he who has the best O's with him getting it from the back? Well. The only reason R. Kelly has the O is because it was a nine behind it. But, you know, another story for another day. N- another story for another day. <laughs> uh, I do not agree with Black Street. I-, I literally was doing ratchet shit. Never lied. Denver uh, mistreated females. But, and I was also honest, but I probably wasn't doing the best things in my life. I, I was doing a whole bunch of shit. At that time, Listen, get it out your system. I'm thinking about you. The last time we made love, 
and the fantasize so many things that I dream of. I want to do with it, baby. And tonight won't be the same. I want to come inside. Slowly, I'll give it to you, baby. Only if you promise me you let your mind run free. Come on, it's a bad time. He, 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 he got to keep saying that. How you, how you going to stop? How you going to stop? You, you better have another voicemail. Clap it up for Baritone. Shout, shout out to Baritone. Give, give right, him clap. his claps. Give Yo, his let claps. me say how something about Big, right? Oh. So everything that's said uh, is somewhat true. This nigga super funny. Like, he could talk your drawers off you and sell them back to you. Maybe not the most appealing dude. Whatever. The game is immaculate. <laughs> it's immaculate. He's from Brooklyn. It doesn't matter what you have. It has to do with it. And he was very good at it. Verbalizing it more so. Not saying he didn't live it, but, um, yeah. Being able to verbalize is a, a great tool. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't stay in your place. So I'm thinking that you might be replaced. Side piece auditions. You say I'm tripping, but baby, you acting different, I guess. Hey. If you could go back to your friends They telling you things that you think will make you win But we already know And we got a plan to get rid of them extra hoes, yeah Listen, baby, pay attention You know that you're the side piece But baby, if you could just listen Cause you ain't acting nicely and really, it's ain't what you do. You've been trying to divide me. Yes, sir. Y'all better clap it up for the people that are in here right now. Right now. Clap it up for them. They are doing what they're supposed to be doing. They are in here not only entertaining us, but entertaining y'all as well, man. Give them their props while they're here. While you are here, you know you are entertained right now. Right now, we are talking about the side piece songs, relationships, side pieces. More importantly, we I, I need to know, what are your favorite side piece songs? What are you, like, I'll, I'll give y'all an example. And I want y'all to give me which one you think is the better song. The best of me or the point of it all. What would be a better side piece song? Mm. By Anthony Hamilton. Best of me or the point of it all? Point of it all. I agree. Because y'all remember that Bob that Bobby Wilmack story where he was uh talking about taking his best friend's wife? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty. It happened a moment that you were revealed. You were a dream that should not have been a fantasy real. You gave me this feeling, baby, Mm. this rhythm inside. Could you make me feel good and feel nice and feel love? Gave me paradise so... I should realize that you're the high <laughs> Yo, when I re- when I renew my vows, I swear to God, he better my be. My drawers is at my ankles. My drawers <laughs> is at my, tra- my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, shout out to my boy. Let's shout speak on Prince. Uh oh. Insatiable. I believe it was on Diamonds and Pearls. Prince be giving me pussy. Wild ass dude. Like, I'm totally not into his whole look. But yo, smartest dude. He played 27 instruments. And my mother tried to get me into that, um, the vibrations or my voice or being able to express myself. Something wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Now, I chose to do other things, but 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, self-expression. He was good at expressing himself. Nice. Like Definitely. Holding high regards. Especially with them cheats up. Hey, yo, funny story. Funny mm-hmm. story. So I'm telling you, I'm, I'm putting into a doctor chick later on. And uh, she not feeling me because uh, uh, I may be somewhat blockish. But I met a brother. And her brother and I are really cool. He like, you may know my sister. You work there. I'm like, nigga, I've been trying to fuck your sister. Oh, no. Like, I want babies by your sister. Not because she a doctor, just because she got that peaceful type of vibe. And I don't want the wall with niggas. Oh, Unbeknownst to her, over her. Quietly. He said, I've been trying to fuck your sister. Quiet. When I tell you my brother's workers will probably die if they ever say some shit like that. <laughs> His name is Lenny Williams, and I actually know the motherfucker. He's crazy enough. I actually know him. Mm-hmm. He's credited for several, several songs that you definitely like. I know this nigga. Smoke mm-hmm. crack, to be honest. Oh, shit. <laughs> but real good dude. He pay all his debts and so on. But yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out. So Listen. You, you know what's funny? Let me let me ask anybody who's a, um a, a fan of R and B, more importantly, a fan of side piece songs. Um John Legend has not come up when we've done this list so far. Yes, he, like he he has a song. Now, what is a good John Legend like side piece song? Like, he is has- it I Can Change? No, it's another one. Um, isn't it stay? Stay just a while, just a little. I think it's that one. I, it, it has to be. Also, we've done a lot of like men, like side piece on. What about because the people act like men haven't been side pieces? I, I feel like Jill Scott's whole first album is nothing but telling the dude that he's been a side piece. She took him on a long walk. As she should, because she's beautiful and everything. She, she said, he loves me. Especially, like, she, she, she said, this is the way you love. This me, is mm, my favorite Jill Scott short ass song, which I wish is longer, was Crown Royal. Now, here's, here's a good question for the fellas. Fellas, if you had to pick and this was your side piece hmm. to, to your woman or whoever. Who would be your side piece? Jill Scott. For you? Oh. Oh no. Jill Scott or Jennifer Hudson. Ooh. Jill Scott. Now, Imagine waking up and in the between those boobs. Man, listen, listen to me. I, I picked Jill Scott <laughs> just for the titties. And I know she got a pretty face. There, there's nothing I would not do for Jill Scott. If Jill Scott said, you know what, like you might end up dying. Y'all saw what she did with that mic. Don't play yourself. No, no, man. Not only what she did with the mic. Have you seen her titties without a shirt on? I have. You're so stupid. My look, look, there's there's some there's something to be said about a pair of titties that literally like you, you know how you know people say that, you know, as women age, the titties sag a little bit. Jill Scott titties are the perfect saggage. Them, them fucking Not titties me. sit. They, they they sit perched like an owl. I love that shit. I, I fucking love hearing it. Hearing off of our music. What about this right here? Lay your head on my pillow. Hold a warm and tender body close to my heart. Hear the whispers Melody. of the raindrops just one more time. For the good times. I damn sure that's the whole thing telling you about the, the abortion shit or the ring that she has stuck in her. 
shit. It's no way possible. My kids met her kids, and it's no way possible. <laughs> no way possible. She would not be pregnant. I can't. I have, I have another song. Now, you know, I know who he is. is. Oh. The bruh is actually kind of famous. What Eric Robeson, I think his name is. Oh, yeah, Robeson. It's good. definitely him. It's definitely him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful in all aspects. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. In fact, you only have to lay on to it, but yeah, I remember that voice. Mm. <laughs> we met once or twice. Robeson's good, man. Ro- Robeson's good. I- I'm, I'm trying to think. Okay, I, I got one. Now, I'm, I'm going to read the lyrics because, you know, I'm not a singer. Um, when it comes to side piece songs, I-, I-, I feel like this is definitely a 2 a.m. appropriate for our time. A side piece song. How you going to act like we don't be making love? You know, we be tearing the stuff that get a love. How, you gonna, how could you forget? <laughs> how you going to act like that? Girl, I he never thought so that loving you would hurt. Yo, he was mad as shit. He was so sad. Yo, I've never seen a dude that mad on a love song. Mm-hmm. Now, I- I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down the list instead of playing the lyrics. I'm gonna just go down the list um, of some some songs, some side pieces, right? So we have Rihanna's "Stay." I feel like "Stay" that could be a, a side piece song. Um, when I was your man by Bruno Mars, that's definitely a a, a side piece song. Um, you know I'm no good by Amy Winehouse. Yes, mm. without w- w- without question. Um, okay, now I-, I need somebody to sing this to me because I can't remember the lyrics, but I know the song. It's Iman's "Fuck It, I Don't Want You Back." I don't know that song. So. I'm, I'm gonna read the lyrics. Anybody who knows it, please please let me know. But honestly, Shant, like you, you have to know this song. You you, you have to know. It. I'm gonna read it to you. Um. So let me see. Let me see if I can find the lyrics. He says, "See, I don't know why I liked you so much. I gave you, wait, I gave you all of my trust. I told you I loved you. Now that's all down the drain. You put me through pain. I just want to let you know how I feel." Fuck what I said. It don't mean shit now. Fuck the presents. Might as well throw them out. Fuck all them kisses. They didn't mean Jack. Fuck you, you ho. I don't want you back. Somebody's a bet. That that was definitely a, you know what? I, I might put her in a trash bag type of song. Actually, mm. don't nobody sing that song. We, we, we don't want that. We, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Um, you gotta you gotta go down. We got 19 females. <laughs> now let's talk about Dave Hollister the side piece cut off oh yes favorite girl what he said what's wrong with your crazy ass that's the shit as a matter of fact all Dave Hollis's shit was fire but that song right there was wild when he said he was a one woman man I was upset acoustic soul's my man yo Man, bro, we still got to do this. We got to do this live so we can set it off. Me and you in the same room, bro. We got to give it to these people. Yeah. It's either me and you or, and, and uh, uh, Press Ocean, too, man. We But we all got to. I wish we could all get in the same room together, man. We had like fucking 2,000 listeners on this, on this shit. Well, join, join us on Clubhouse, man. Uh, Shannon, I'm about to get her on here. We're going on stereo and we're going to have to go on Clubhouse soon. So, whenever yeah. y'all ready. That shit was fire. <laughs> You're right. The point of it all. The point of it all. Yes, the sir. point of it all. Perfect. A few stolen moments is all that we share. You've got your family and they need you there. Though I've tried to resist being last on your list, but no other man's gonna do. So I'm saving all my love for you. Yes. Yay! You better clap. Thinking of you. That's all I seem to do. 
So when you're not here, I long to hold you near. Maybe this time, together we will stay. Holding you close, taking time to let you know. That man yes. is singing. What are panties? What are those? Hey. Mm. Okay, remember that song by Pleasure P called Boyfriend Number Two. Yes. That- I don't know the lyrics, but I just remember that song. He was talking about being some chick side piece. That entire album is absolutely fire. I Anybody who doesn't, P. would you say? But I remember the song. I never listened to Pleasure P. No, please. I'm telling you, if you if you haven't go and listen to the introduction of Marcus Cooper. Everything else after that has been terrible, but that introduct that first album, mind you, it came out in 2009, right? That entire album was so underrated. It, honestly, it, it might have been like the perfect like intro album for anybody and like that little R and B genre of his when it comes to like you know anybody but Miguel. I feel like Miguel was probably better than him, but that album top tier the introduction of marcus cooper please go listen to that Mm, i gotta check it i can't stay away from you too long even when i do you always call checking on me make sure you're okay and be the one to brighten up your day yeah, and the point of it all is uh-huh. I love you. Bang, yes, Hey, what's going on? I just tuned in, so I don't know if you guys touched on it. But remember that 112 song? Your letter. Let's talk about the songs where you realize you the side piece. What the fuck? <laughs> No, I love that fucking song. Oh my god! But One Twelve had a lot of side piece songs. They started a song. Uh, I forgot what the name of the song is, but it was like, "What is this? Numbers in your pocket." I remember when you used to throw. He these put her out on the side of the highway. I remember that shit. Yo, he put her on the sideway. That is some <laughs> side piece shit right there. <laughs> How do you put your side piece on the sideway? What is well, this? Uh, hold on. Numbers in your pocket. I, I remember you, when you used to throw those things away. <laughs> Who do you wanna keep in touch now? Who gave you a reason? Oh my yes, yo! Anybody who can sing, yeah, hit that, that. and then that beat drop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my god, absolutely. The first one, oh. ordinary people. The first one, ordinary people, because I'm not saying I'm wild or shit like that, but hey, listen, life is life, and you live life, and you learn from life, and you don't take too much away from it that damages you it's to live in life, but shit, whatever you come across is, is some regular shit. We ordinary. It's nothing extraordinary. It's just extraordinary to you. It, and how we her. move is how we move. Um, yeah. I, I'm going to chime back in, but yeah. John Legend's side piece song and she don't have to know. Here we go. When yeah. I meet you, I got my shades on to cover up my eyes. I'm hoping that nobody sees me passing by through my disguise. I still know you recognize, but you... I know you got a little secret of your own. You're sneaking out with me while your man's at home. You know you're wrong, but it's so strong, still carrying on. I ain't go to the other side of town, so I never risk the chance we'll catch her eye. Oh, 
no, she don't have to. Do you understand? Do you, yo, what's his cash app? He need to drop the goddamn cash app. There's drop no the way he is not app, being paid Mr. right Berto. now. He is not, no, Mr. Berto, drop the cash app right now. I'm I'm putting hey. money in there. Yes, y'all need to clap it up for him and share it. Follow him, Mr. Berto. You know what? I said the wedding, but you know what? The anniversary is <laughs> coming up too. The, the anniversary is coming up too. Name the price. Name the That's price. So good. Goodness. John Legend had um. One freaky song called Tonight. I think it was I Hit You With The Best Stroke or something like that. Yes. But um, yeah, that was one of John Legend's little freak songs or whatever. Yeah, that, that's when you got to swerve them with the curve. That's what you got to do. You got you to gotta swerve them with the curve. Um, shut up, Greg. All right, all right. So the answer to that, Jill Scott, most definitely. Uh, I done had the Erica Badu's. I done actually, I also don't know Jill Scott, but I know her mother. Mm. quite well what I will say is this um, never really had a side piece like I'm a front so everybody know about everybody it's nothing on the side it's just what I'm doing right now so mm. yeah come on honest Jennifer Hudson wouldn't be none of my pieces. Jill Scott would definitely be my main piece, but if she had to be my side piece, so be it. Ooh. I'ma just have to be a crub ball nigga, cause that's my boo. And she's my birthday twin. So oh. she's a lot like me. I've met her several times in person. A good friend of mine is actually good friends with her. You know what I'm saying? So I've actually spoken to Jill a couple of times on FaceTime and that was like one of the dopest moments I ever had in my life. I love Jill Scott. Oh, I love her. I love her too. From the rooter to the tutor. You yeah. shut up. Jill Scott and that mic work for sure. <laughs> I think another perfect side piece song is Teddy Pendergrass. Come on over to my place. Come on over to me. No, uh, you said just to wish for tonight. <laughs> he was running that game, boy. Classic escape, my little secret. Oh, that. that that was when Tiny had her original eyes, though. She she did I'm the whole minority report. Hey, you Wait. gonna act like we don't be making love? You know we be tearing it up, breaking stuff. That candle love. How you gonna trip? How could you forget? How you gonna act like that? You know I'm willing to do anything just to keep you in my, keep you in. I'll mess around and give up everything. Do you know? That's my shit too, bro. You got that. Yeah, yeah bro. Can we get some Man, Carl Thomas in there? Because oh. I had a crazy situation. Like, oh, literally, I'm dating some chick from uh, South America. Mm. And she heard some shit in my background. I uh -huh. love to play pool. Like, literally, I'm a regular block dude. So mm -hmm. she heard some shit. Carl Thomas playing in the background. And I wasn't begging and crying, but yeah, Carl <laughs> Thomas. He was close. Yo. Oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I told her she even gave her head. <laughs> what? 85, 86. I was already doing dirty shit by then, but yeah. Uh, um, congratulations. <laughs> Is the song that followed it? Yes, but, yes, yo, really good, really good. Enjoy your voice as well. Oh my god! Here's a here's a uh, here's a um side piece joint for you. You've been working all day. I know you wanna complain. 
Hey. I want to be there for you Till yeah. you call my name I can work around you I want to make each part If you don't mind I do you just fine Part time a lover I said I will, I said I will, babe If you don't mind, I can be a part-time lover. How do you remember all this music? Bro, my my iPhone is, my Shazam is like, yo, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? Like, (laughs) Here's the side piece, Anthem. Take my money. My house and my cars For what he of you You can have it all Cause make it love This is how we do It hurts more than drugs Cause I'm an addict of you can't leave you alone. You got me feeling, girl. I'm feeling for you. Right, I gotta say something. I gotta say something. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait. Now I just heard the lyrics, the official lyrics. Shout out to him. Said, yeah. "Take my house." My money and my car. Where are me and my main chick supposed to live at? Where, where we supposed that? to live at? Where, where, Forget where, her. Who is her? <laughs> who is Who she? <laughs> my cash app is dollar sign capital M lowercase r capital B lowercase e lowercase a lowercase r four three eight. That's Mister Bear four three eight. It's in my bio. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. y'all, man. Now you heard that. You heard that, right? I'm going to be donating at the end of the show when you know I can get my shit together. Because right now, I, I, I love talking these side piece songs, and my my, my boy Mr. Baritone, he is doing what he needs to do. And he already knows that that's just the down, you know, deposit on the renewal of the vows that's going to be happening. So j- just know. But I, I just need to know. Um, when it comes to her taking my house, my money, and my cars, where am I supposed to live at? Because he don't ain't care. No going to be no. Ain't no pussy making me homeless unless I can move you into my basement, and then I can yeah. say, you know what, wife? That's hey, by the way, <laughs> no, she got to live in the basement. She, she got to live in the basement. She, she has. She, she has. She, has, she can. She can have the in law suite. She can have the in law suite. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Baby, it's a shame we gotta go through with this. We can't even talk, girl. We don't even kiss. I never would have thought we'd be breaking up like this. But it's over now. It's over now. Uh, what about that song Tiptoe by Tamar Braxton's a little bit more new school but it's like a tiptoe a tiptoe um can't let nobody see you sneaking out my house something 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 then our secret is gonna be out oops that was almost enough but you know that she can sing yeah we we, we need to stop acting like Tamar Braxton Tamar Braxton Honestly, I think she's only put out one bad album. Just one. Everything else she's done, absolutely fire. Now, I, I will say the reason why she doesn't get as much like, you know, acclaim as she's supposed to is because everybody they're still stuck on Tony. And honestly, like, you know, the the Boomerang album is still probably like the top five greatest like soundtracks of all time. When I say that, I'm talking about that, Love and Basketball, Space Jam. Um, and, and there's like a couple, there's two more, but those are right now my top three. But Tamar Braxton, honestly, yo, I, I forgot what was it called. It was like, it's not Love and Pain. I'm trying to remember the actual name of the album. But honestly, she's only put out one bad album to me. And let me get the name. I got to get the name before we go to the next voicemail. Um, after that, Mike on the stage scene, I think everybody loves Joe Scott. I mean, I already loved her, but after that scene, I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah Joe Scott's the yeah. shit. <laughs> And them titties. And them titties. No, that's not a side piece song. It's 
actually to some stalker predatory type of shit. I, I used to do it a little bit. Again, oh. I'm not from North Philly, but I used to, <laughs> that's my stomping grounds. Okay. They dropped me off there and <laughs> not they dropped never me returned. Off. Oh my lord. And the album was actually uh, Winter Lover's Land. I absolutely hated that album. Um, I liked All in All Lovers and I liked Love and War. Uh, the Tamar album, the one, I like, love love the first album, Love and War, honestly, yeah. yeah. Mm. But we. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why you want me when you got a girl? This feeling is reckless. Come on, scissor. Tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. Tonight. We are young. Oh my god. Oh, y'all are hilarious again tonight. Okay. Did we already do I Don't Wanna Know, Joe? Like, I don't wanna know if you're playing me, keep no. it on the low. That's a side piece song, for sure. Man, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's what I've been saying, bro. That's what I've been saying. You're preaching right now, bro. You're saying facts. Bro, that's what I've been saying since day one, honestly. And it's just so, it's so refreshing to hear you say that, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, that ass. Absolutely. I'm going to say this before the next voicemail. Um, Shane, this is for you. Um, do, you like ha- do you like Happy Mary or do you like angry, like, I love I that like nigga, but he's in front of one of the eyeballs, Mary. My life. Um, I'm going down. I like that toxic. I was with Joe to see because he liked to drink too much and they was pissed off at each other and they had to force them to go on stage to sing together at this um, performance. Yeah. That's the Mary J I like. Yeah. It's so funny, and we're going to go to the next voice, but I'm going to just make this really quick. Um, I had an argument with someone on Twitter about what was the better overall album between Lemonade and Share My World. This person tried to convince me for a total of about an hour and a half that Lemonade is a overall better album than Share My World, and they lied. lied. They fucking lied. You, there is no I can love you on Lemonade. There is no round you know round and round there's no share my world there's no seven seven days you my mom sing that shit my mom thing and mm. listen they don't understand you can't talk to new you can't talk to these new kids about good music because they don't have no idea yo 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 <laughs> what's happening what's happening my bro hey greg shout what's you up? my bro i hope you're well she gets it yeah. bud welcome yeah. darling i hope you're well too um, yeah, man, I'm just about to go to sleep. It's barely late over here. I've been living on some American time zone shit. But um, hey, I hope you guys, both of you guys are well. Just wanted to come through, show you guys some love. Anyone that's you. in the room, just clap it up for these guys at the same time to boost this chat if you can. And, of course, follow them both if you don't already. But shout you guys out. Always coming with good, intelligent perspectives, and I enjoy the content. So, yeah, peace and love. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. My, can I just say this? My man's mm-hmm. man like like... Every time I get a notification, I'm like, yo, he, he, he did another chat. He did another chat. He didn't like, yeah. he be on here. I'm like, yo, th- there's no way. I'm like, he be working. But hey, he about to make that money. He it's said, I'm going to show up for another there. like, yo, it, it's not going to show up for him for another like seven, eight days, but he's going to get that. I think he's so like, the stupid. Little, little no, no bullshit. He's not going to get the check until like next week, but he's in there at least like 14 times but he's worked hard for it man get that money more importantly like you know what's what's the guy who's always in the lead uh the leaderboard and they kind of like fucked him over by deleting him shout out to stereo for getting it right um in saying that but let's get to the next voicemail i tried to make a baby to the same the same song to be honest that goes back to the 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 nova ring or some other shit be honest to be totally honest, um, Chick left me. The only reason why she left me is because I was still on the block and she's an educated, um, well-placed person. At the time, I was not. I grew to be, but 
Yeah, hell yeah. She wasn't a side chick. Matter of fact, I dropped seven girls for her. Ooh. Seven. Seven days of the week. Four of them right around Christmas, to be honest. Wow. I'm cutting um, everything off. I don't give a fuck see, what you off me. Uh, that's okay. that one. You got to do that because Santa don't exist when it comes to relationships. Just cut it off like December 23rd. You his money. got to get them a gift. Exactly. Yeah. Save your money. Okay, how about this one, y'all? Honey, caught me red-handed. Creeping with the girl next door. I mean, picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. I had tried to keep her from what she was about to see. Why should she believe me when I told her it wasn't me? Because when you're singing, nigga, nigga, little billa, what's the matter with the real thing? Risking his house, money, and car. The pussy that he is now getting better make residual income. Listen. Because I ain't doing that. Come back. You can get a ride in my car. Not a ride. You can't come to my house. Oh, shit. And you can get a couple of dollars. A couple of dollars. <laughs> Bad time has oh, spoken. God. It's so funny running into you. Had to be three years since we last seen each other. Many flashbacks come to mind of those wild and crazy times we used to have with one another. We absolutely didn't care. We would do it anywhere. Eye contact and it was over. But that's when I was wildin' out. I couldn't get less somebody. Some are getting hurt. I've done my share of dirt. You know what, Mr. Mr. Baritone, I have to have him sing this again for the intro of this podcast. I love he has it. to sing it. Yes, because that is right there, the absolute one-on-one side piece. Song. You know, when I when I edit this, I'm going to put it at the front. <laughs> what is it? Side piece songs. Yo, I didn't even... Yo, side piece songs. This is yes. the song that I want my girls to be listening to. Are you ready? This yes. is the song. Uh, the first time I meet my girl, if this song is playing and she's playing it, I'm going to know she's the one. Are you ready? First Wait. time, fuck your bitch and the click you claim. West oh, side shit. when we ride, coming quick to game. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust some bad boy, nigga, fuck for life. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear my girl playing. I want to hear that song. And that's when I'll know it's real. Oh, is that- my God. Oh, my God. The Tamar album is called Love and War. Oh, we in love and war. Yeah. He sang her ass off on that shit. Great bro song. Great bro song. Uh, it's only a good night if you actually get what you want, not the situation. Oh. I mean, to be totally honest, man, it's only a good night if I'm rubbing or <laughs> rubbing up or whatever I decide to rub on. Rub on. Uh, dark skin, big, small. Mm. Mm. I, I gotta have that. But, mm. It's a bro song. It's it's not an ex song. It's not a uh, it's not the type of song. A question. Um, mm-hmm. What about when it comes to like side piece songs? I'm gonna give you three songs, and I need to know which one. Like we're gonna do a process of elimination. So just you and I. The listeners can do it later. Um, number one, Tony Tony Tone, whatever you want. Number two. Um. Make it last forever. Keep sweat. Make it or, last forever. Or, or number mm. three, Michael Jackson, the lady in my life. <sighs> Which one do I pick? You have to eliminate one, and then we got to go. Oh, into Michael life. Jackson. Sorry, MJ. Okay. Okay. So that leaves you between Tony Tony Tones, whatever you want, or Make It Last Forever by Keep Sweat. I love Keith, but I'm going to have to do a Tony Tony Tony. Okay. So, you know, now this is the final. So you have Tony Tony Tone, or you have Do Me Baby by Prince. Do 
to me, baby. Like you never <laughs> um, I would have to say Tony, Tony, Tony still. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Prince, but that fucking Tony, 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 like, oh, here's one, here's one. Is this considered a side piece song? After Seven's Ready or Not? Uh, you... mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. Yo, I don't know. Right? Let me think about that. Because <laughs> my heart can't take it anymore. Yeah, we got to keep that running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all know y'all know about Raheem Devon, you. Yes. Come on, man. That's a definite side piece song. Yeah, you got me thinking oh, for you. Got me telling my mama and my friends all about my daydreams of you. Man. <laughs> and me and Raheem go back. He was at a group years ago called Urban Ave 31 in the 90s. Trust me, bro. I know that's a side piece song. Now he gonna make yeah. oh. I'm going down. Originally done by Rolls Royce. And y'all mentioned the chick. She um she actually had most of the album. I, uh, I think her daughter's on Saturday Night Live. Uh I want to say her name, oh. but I don't have it on the tip of my tongue. But yeah, to be totally honest, good and bad times. I, I listen to those songs and then shit, I turned up with feelings. Ain't that a bitch? Mm. Now, I'm going to throw, throw a wild card out there. So this one, is it's not a, uh, for me, I don't want to know, well, I don't know if it's a classified like side peace song but it, it feels like one if you hear it um michelet's something in my heart something in my heart something, something in my heart. almost got me stuck on you yeah yeah oh my god yeah Come yes on, she she got her feelings in the mix i love that song yes yeah. <laughs> For real, for facts, straight back. Oh, since I had a share a man song, it was called The Weekend. Yeah, my man is your man. Her man. Yes, he went over that one for sure. Yes, hey, yo, the seven day shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm chiming out after this. <laughs> uh, one of my friends played that for me after the first time we had sex, mm. but. She trying to make something happen that's not gonna happen. I know. Had sex with her, but wasn't my current situation. I had a girlfriend, and they knew each other. They knew no. each other pretty well, and yeah. Nigga, seven days that don't change shit. <laughs> hey, um, I'm new. I just. I got on here like maybe a couple of hours ago, but Welcome. I am enjoying the conversation. Thank you. Welcome to Foul Mouth Stereo. Can't be caught if I'm always telling the truth. Back. Shaggy. <laughs> Shaggy. Brethren. Brethren. But you can't catch me. Listen. If I'm being honest. Listen. I haven't let me been caught one. yet, so... I stay honest. I stay truthful to myself first and foremost. And let's keep playing because I want to hear these good voices and so on because yeah. it's entertaining. Y'all doing a real good job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Um, right. Let me I'm, I'm, get a disclaimer. Uh, Jamaican men, they just love women. So if you feel like you caught them in something, you caught them in something. <laughs> like what gun? <laughs> Keep it gone. Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right, sorry, I gotta. Okay, so what about this one? See, I heard it all before. All of your lies, all of your sweet talk, baby, this, baby, that, but your mind ain't working now. 
for you right now. See, I have to shut you down. Oh, I have to shut you down. Oh my, yes. Shout out to Sunshine Anderson. Oh my God. Like, I met her one okay. time and n- nicest person in the world. And I-, I think honestly, like when it came to like, like female, like R and B, like her and Lil Mo, like I feel like those two just, they don't get enough credit for actually making like female I wish R&B. they did more music. Yeah, I wish. Like her blue, uh, what's, it, uh, what's her name? Blue Can blue Trail. Can- <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Lil Mo, oh my God, that I, I told my wife, I was like, you know what, like if you know, if we got married, that I was going to like have us come out to forever because I I like that song. But the issue is, mm-hmm. outside of the initial chorus, like everything else is just like bullshit. You like you you can't party or dance to that for like three minutes. So no. Um, <laughs> yeah. Think think about it, like you get married. It's like, can you live with this to the end? Like yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Shout, shout out to for, um to Lil, for Lil Mo for actually making uh both Ja Rule and Fabulous have good songs because if it wasn't for her, like would we care about either one of them? Because Lil Mo, like, you and your shade. Tupac, Tupac. Listen to number four off the first album, Tupac Lips Now. It's called Violence. Please that. listen close. I gotta take it. <laughs> Y'all <are> so funny. <laughs> Keith Sweat, number one. I'm eliminating the other two. Keith oh. Sweat, most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> Keith Sweat got me some pussy as well. Michael Jackson never got me no pussy, although I very much appreciate his whole catalog. Me too. Never got me no pussy. Oh. Uh. The other song, I don't even know what you're talking about, but he's like, like, what? He sweat, most definitely. Mm. All right. So, so Shan, I gotta, before you go to the next one, I gotta give you <laughs> three. So, I'm gonna give you three, but they're all from the same artist, okay? Oh, so, yeah. and they have to be side chick songs. So, <laughs> number one, Music Soul Child's Love. Number two, Music Soul Child's Half Crazy. And number three, Music Soul Child's Buddy. Half crazy. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is like, damn, if y'all would have just stayed friends, this wouldn't be an issue. Yo, any any man that has a side chick and a side eye, that right there is enough for me. That Did you see when he took them glasses off? Listen, you know, when some, some glasses- some are- are scared to get their eyes uh, uh, corrected. Surgically yeah. corrected. Uh, little John is still, he is still like his glasses collection must be crazy. Man, what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mu- music Soul Child, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was. I actually meant them motherfuckers and I lost uh, $250. Me no shit. after seven. He was in the mall or whatever. After seven. Yeah. After seven is really good. It's like Babyface's brother and some oh, other yeah. shit. But, um, Atlanta rules. To be honest, is it, Atlanta <laughs> rules. Wild place, good place. You come up in Atlanta, but yeah, Miami. yeah. It's a small place, but it looks big on TV. <laughs> You just keep on using me using until me. you use me up. Yeah. I, you, somebody needs to send that. I want you guys that are listening right now, I need you to send that to somebody in a text message. And then just, you know, tag at Young Black Pod and she gets it. <laughs> we we, 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 we want to see that. Now, now, Shan, before you get to the next voicemail, I, I want to know... Um, is One Wish a side piece song? Should be a no piece song. I don't know why he made that song. <laughs> it should, it should no piece. Like, sir, shut your ass up. Hey, what did you are you hating? If you had one wish, you should have monetized that sex tape better than Kim's mama did. You know what? <laughs> you, you were- I don't know if y'all did this one yet, but how about um did anybody see ya? 
Come yeah. into my house last night When I got your message to my people That you want to do everything I like All right, all right I like being in the same room with you and your girlfriend The fact that she don't know That really turns me on To never guess in a million years That we got this thing going on You're my little secret Yay. Yay. Look at that. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> literally, literally, I was in seventh grade when the song came out. I used to fight a lot. I was always known for doing some stupid shit. But I had a pretty young lady, chocolate, definitely oh. chocolate. And she liked me, but I used to roll with her brother. And uh, that's the way it normally happens. Yeah. That was a song always when she called because it was on the top 10 countdown here in Philly. Every time she called me, the song was playing. I think it was intentional. She saw me at my worst time and then she saw me when I came, when I got back up. And uh I saw different looks on her face. and Yeah, shit is crazy. Miss Chalet, she got more hits. Then it's then Dre. Amazing voice. Okay, um, Sappy songs. Saving all my love for you by Whitney Houston, yes. and as we lay by Shirley Murdoch. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, what is it? Mokin Steph. He's mine. Mm-hmm. That one. Oh, school. Yo, she's still doing it, Sunshine Anderson. And may I say this, I've been having motherfuckers trying to kill me most of my life. Um, honestly, the best policy ends on the table. If not, somebody going to get shot. But yeah, it's like, if you really want something, be honest. If you're a crook amongst crooks, be honest about that shit. Yeah. Because only a thief can respect a thief. Only a murderer can respect a murderer. And we play amongst different, uh, and I don't mean to bring it too dark, but yeah, you got to be honest. Like, no matter what happens, shit, if you're a big, bad motherfucker, like, literally, literally, it's going to happen either way. Now, how you want it to play out, solely that. All right, so I don't know if I can distinguish between all those. Music Soul Child, uh, I don't know the dude, but I know his whole band, whole bunch of shit. But here's the whole thing. That's normally what I play in the car because it's like uh, he's the version of Mary J. Blige to a male's perspective. And uh, to the side chick or whatever, you have no fucking wins. I mean, this is what it is. This is how we move in this. I mean, and again, I, I never really had a side chick. I'm up front. But yeah, if I were to choose Music Soul Child, and it would be. How crazy. Buddy. Aww. Girl, I know how much you really want somebody. Nah, no, that's a that's a side piece song right there. What song is that? Aaron Neville. Aaron Neville. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Uh if you're doing it right, don't matter. It really don't matter. I'm gonna move out because it's like 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. I need this paper, but I enjoy this. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, what about this song, y'all? He's mine, you made him had him once, but I got him all the time. He's mine, he's mine, you made him had him once, but I got him all the time. If y'all don't know who sings that song, it's a group called Moke and Stuff. They sing that song, and the song is called He's Mine, and it's about a dude having a side piece. Classic community peen. Never thought that we can ever be more than friends. 
Now I'm so confused Cause for you I have deeper feelings We both thought it was good across the line I love it Escape That song is by mm-hmm. Escape And uh Yeah Been through that but Normally they shoot at me and shit like that But oh. Yeah Escape I know that song very well. Again, different points of my life, but yeah, love that song. Actually, I'm in love with Candy Burris. Always have been, always will be. Crazy enough, but I'm trying to do some regular shit. That's (laughs) my goal. I think this is another one. Here we are, the two of us together, taking this crazy chance to be all alone. We both know that we should not be together, cause if we found out, it could mess up both our happy homes. Secret lovers. Secret lovers. That's all our voicemails. Thank you guys for singing. Your voices are amazing. Greg, we are in here. All these voices, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys for staying up with us till 3 a.m. in the morning, going through all these songs and music. I just wish today's music did what we're doing right now where it really just pushes us to dig in, want to listen at all or sing or recite. This music today is so temporary. I'm just like, what the hell? We got a voicemail. Here we are all alone. You and me in privacy, and we can do anything, your fantasy, I want to make you scream my name, Well, I can hear you calling me between your legs, loud and clear, I want to talk back to her, make love to her. Fuck that. I love the song. Sounds real good. Literally, I've had other people try and do bad things to me solely for that reason. And that's not a good look. Although, if you winning, you winning. A couple weeks ago, I literally had dinner with uh, my friend's boyfriend. Not a good thing. I wish you could see my face right now. It's not a good thing. <laughs> what happened? Uncomfortable for the both of us, but oh, shit. she boss. She she definitely doing what she need to do. And uh everything is an add on. Some regular shit, but um it's no secrets. That's the biggest part most people don't understand. There's no secrets. Man. If you just live without secrets, you'd be all right. Exactly. One more question. I don't want to be nobody's side piece. I, I'm a damn queen. Sound oh, 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 I won't be on sad peace. Can I, can I say yes? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. Shout out, shout out to her. Shout out to her. But how can you be his peace, but you won't be his peace? Oh Lord. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, I, got one, I got one for you though I got one for you so mm-hmm. before you play that voicemail um, it, it's the law of threes for me so I wanted to pick between two groups that have three members and the three members are I wanted you to do either SWV's week 
Mm-hmm. Or guy. Or guy. Um, let me get the song again. Um, Peace of My Love. So Peace of My Peace Love by Guy or SWV's Week? Um, definitely SWV Week because everybody sings that song and thinks they can hit that note that she hits and they can't. Not at all. Not <laughs> at all. It's so classic. Mm-hmm. Hey yo, her voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't even catch it. I just heard the way it started. Yo, contract. Let's let's. Uh, I'm not saying let's do something, but I'll help you. Whatever. Okay. That right mm-hmm. there is unique. Amazing. That right there is unique. Oh, Shout out to the brothers, everybody that's played talents. But God damn, them pipes is nice. For yo. Sure. Really, let's work at something. I don't know what you got working. I'm not trying to intrude on that, but um, yeah, sure. amazing. Yeah, Cash up on her my- Yeah, what is it? Mystical Rainbow, aka Mystical mm-hmm. Mermaid, on here on stereo. Shout out to her. She is doing amazing things, and that voice, amazing, sweetie. That was absolutely yep. fantastic. Yes. Yes, like th- th- this isn't a talent show, by the way. This is just honestly like you guys showcasing, obviously your talents. While we're talking about side pieces and side piece songs, um, it it just so happens that we're singing side piece songs. Doesn't make you a side piece. It's just no. definitely entertaining. Um, wow, we wow we have touched on so much. We have two more voicemails, but here we go. Two more voicemails, and then we can wrap it up, come to our conclusions, and we will check you guys on the next show. Absolutely. Uh, the beginning of Guy's song, if you listen to the words real closely, it, it says, you dumb bitch. Oh, no. And I'm not trying to influence it, but um, <laughs> start of it. Also, in my music class, the motherfuckers will going to let me die. Eh, sorry. <laughs> Got your legs spread all over the bed Hands clinging in the sheets Hair wild as hell I know The only thing on your mind is sex in me Girl, I can feel your temperature rising You can feel my nature too Come on it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Let's do what we can do when we make a love all night. And we. Now, 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 here we go. Before we, before we go, though, before we go, I, I need someone, anybody who is in here right now that has the pipes for it. Um, we didn't talk about the one song that I used in my whole phase. Of being oh. the side piece, um, which was "He Can't Love You" by Jagged Edge. Um, I, I Nobody like sings that's... Jagged Edge, and I don't know why that is. D- do you understand? "He Can't Love You" is literally like it's the easiest song to sing, but it it's either that or "Before I Let You Go." Let me get a kiss. Good night. Good night. <sighs> 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 Before I check out, before I check out, can I get a kiss in my baby? Shout out to all the begging men out here. Oh, yeah, I'd be begging like shit. I don't care. <laughs> oh, no. I, all right, so let's go back to the topic side pieces. So, everyone uh, in the group introduced me to at least three others. Uh, now, during the pandemic, that's really not good, but. They always introduce me to others and then we become folk and I don't know how to display it or, or say it. And to be totally honest, I'm grateful because some relationship lasts, some don't, no matter who introduced us or how we came to be. Yeah, I'm still rocking with a bunch of them or a few of them. Mm-hmm. Sounds better. But yeah, yeah. I call them all, and it's still the same way. I mean, love is love. Basics. Absolutely. Mm. Before we get to this voicemail, in conclusion, what I learned today is everybody's version of a side piece is different. 
everybody's pro of a side piece is different. Everybody's con of a side piece is different. My thing is how you prevent yourself from being a side piece is knowing what you're bringing to the table and picking up on the clues of shit that's not adding up. And if you are cool with the side piece life, leave your feelings at home. Leave your um, ego and your pride to an extent at home and don't get comfortable. Absolute fucking lutely. What did you learn today, Greg? What did I learn today? Um, that I cannot sing. So that's first and foremost. Um, <laughs> so there's definitely that. Um, secondly, and like a lot of people just kind of misconstrue the term side piece and they make it into a negative feeling as though there's no growth from that. And there's definitely gross, no, this growth from it. Um, the issue is growth from being a side chick is honestly just not allowing yourself to be a side chick. Just be the person that he wish he could be with, but just not right now. And sometimes yeah. you're just not the one for the moment. Like you might have to play the waiting game. And this is both for men and women. Like, there may be a role for you and it just might not be the one you might be the two. And, but overall, what I've personally learned today is the fact that a lot of people take being called a side chick or a side piece really seriously. They take it to heart. Um, but that just goes to show that like there are a lot of people who don't know their own personal roles and the relationships that they carry with the opposite sex. Or the same sex in that matter, because obviously, you know, we have to be inclusive to the LGBTQ community. Um, I, I just wish people take what we've said in this five hours of talking and okay. know that, like, you don't have to make what honestly is a positive thing in being someone that doesn't have ties to that person negatively. Like, it's easier for you to escape. It's easier for you to just be who you are. And they can be who they are. And if you guys come together and come together, C U M and C O M E, then great. So be it. That, 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 is, that is great. Yeah. No, I, I just I, I want people to honestly just focus on themselves. Um take out the equation of being the side anything and just be who you are. When you and that person come together, you are what you are. And when you leave, you will still be who you are. And that's regardless if you're in a relationship, a marriage, a situationship, a situation, a relationship, or if y'all even just fucking, you are who you are. They are who they are. But more importantly, you can't be a part of something if you don't know who you are. Um, also, um, outside of the fact that I can't sing, uh, my, my last little tidbit that I wrote down was this. I, I hate the fact that I'm actually about to read this out loud, mm-hmm. which is, uh, God, um, take my house and car, but where are me and the main chick going to be? I, I got to so go and listen to that. I, 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 I got to listen to this Jodeci song again. He said, take my house, my money, and my car. Where, where am I supposed to be? My yeah. house, my car, for a bit of you. Yeah. And, and one last thing, um, we 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 definitely need to contact the guy who left the voicemail about being a part of Urban Ab Thirty One. I did not think that there was anybody on planet Earth other than the people who lived in the DC area that were a part of Urban Ab Thirty One or even knew what Urban Ab Thirty One is. So anybody who is listening and they are not familiar, and obviously LimeWire is no longer a thing. I need you to go and look up Urban Ab Thirty One phenomenal group they honestly they had so many songs and they were really taken for granted at the time that they were coming out so i hope that people will actually kind of consider that that was when r&b was at its peak i'm not talking about like the trey songs ready album this was when like raheem devon and you know like his collective were doing their thing and they were just fantastic i hope that they come out with something more because that was that, that was a good run of about like three years so hopefully people go and listen to urban av 31 all right we're gonna get into these last few um voicemails and close the show all oh, you guys are very talented i don't know where my panties are thank you mr baritone 
Before I let you go, yeah, can I get a kiss goodnight? Can I? Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm, that I'm just learning this. I'm just learning. I'm definitely taking away everything you're saying, but I'm just learning. <laughs> As the clock strikes 12. Exactly. I'm sitting here thinking, how the hell did I let you leave? Yeah. He can love you like I love you, baby, you know it too. If yeah. he can be a man, leave that nigga where he stands. Cause he can't do your body like I do. He can love you. Uh -huh. sure. Come find me. Yes, indeed. Shit, well, let me tell you, I'll help you find him, but. I, 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 I'm a dog. I sniff a little bit. I'm a puppy. Let me not say a dog, but I'm a puppy. You don't sound like a puppy. Sounds good. Sounds real good. <laughs> Thank y'all again for a wonderful show. A good ass almost six hour show. We appreciate it. Absolutely. So, as usual, I have to thank Shan for actually dealing with me for six hours and me randomly cutting her off my phone not working and shit like that. Um, I'm of course, I, I need to thank everybody who is here live listening, the people who will be listening on the podcast, um, the people who are still here right now, like enjoying us, giving the claps up and everything like that. We do have our shows. Um, Shan has She Gets It Pod and I have Young Black and Bob the podcast. Um we, we want you to not only follow both, but appreciate both, follow us both, and we, we don't have cash apps to donate. If you wanted to, sure, but we just want you to actually listen to the content because it's vital information for your everyday life, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, we will be back, um, but beforehand, I want everybody to know that I want you guys to actually get off of here and spend the week with your family. Um, yes. Thanksgiving... Is, is the one time of this year that we can actually spend time and celebrate with the people that love us and the people that we love. Um, Sometimes we it's going to be virtual for some people that are not traveling. Yeah. If, if you can't travel, Zoom, FaceTime, take the time out of your day. If you can be on stereo listening to us right now till 3 a.m., you can definitely go and call a family member, a friend, but somebody that you care about and say, you know what, like, I'm, I'm thankful for you. Um, I'm definitely thankful for Stereo for giving us the opportunity to bridge this gap between people in different states, different towns, different cities, different countries. Uh, Shannon and I, because we're definitely not sitting side by side when we're doing this call, but we no. want you guys to do the same thing for every single person that, you know, you come across. Um, appreciate the life that you have because you only get one. But even with that being said, be thankful for the people that are around you and appreciate the things that they bring into your everyday life. Um, Shad, do you have anything else before we get out of here? Um, thank you guys for checking out Loud Mouth Stereo with Greg and I. We appreciate it. I'm Shan. That's Greg. Follow us on Twitter. Our sharp tongue is Greg's Twitter. Mine is oh, She shit. Gets It Pod. Um, my hashtag is She Gets It Podcast. Check out the show and we'll be back will absolutely oh, i think we got one voicemail let's get this out the way and then we out here we are face to face with the memories that can be erased although we need each other things have changed it's not the same yes thank you guys so much for listening we beautiful voice you next week peace hey do you have the wi-fi password common words everyone has said in an airport coffee shop or any public place with free internet don't fall victim to internet hackers while using free internet thanks to nord vpn nord vpn is one of those services you tell yourself you don't need until it's too late We've used the NordVPN to browse the web, check bank accounts, and even stream apps like Netflix. 
It's the only VPN service that lets you bypass ISPs, perfect for when your job has sites you frequent like Facebook is blocked. It's the best VPN service you can get for both price and performance. Install NordVPN on up to six devices, including your smartphone, tablet, and desktop, and experience the service for yourself. Start protecting yourself and your content with NordVPN by heading over to nordvpn.com forward slash YBAB at checkout and save 75% on your subscription. 